Hello. Welcome in, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far today. Hello, Farland. Wow. Right back at you. Okay, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. Hi, Farland. Congrats on being the first to arrive. Welcome in, Pickle Rick. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, I should probably show my face, huh? I have a face. It's my face. <laughs> hey, Moonlit Knight. Welcome in. Hello, Iguana. Welcome in as well. Lots of low stack checks. Y'all need to step up your game. Like Fig. Look at what Fig did. Hi, some random teen. Welcome in. Hi, Yen. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Hey, Mace. Welcome, welcome. Mace, you're asking about farming for prismatic jelly. So, uh, the best way to do it is just to go to the elevator and go to the five levels where slimes can spawn and just keep going one down them and then back to the top. So, you go to like 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. And then you just look really quickly, and if it's not there, you just keep going. You can very easily switch with the elevator. And make sure you go back to zero after checking all of them, and then try again. I think it can spawn more on lower levels, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Hey, Ankle Biter. Hey, DMNC. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Icy Diamonds. If you're in multiplayer, though, um, hey, Mace, it's a little more complicated because you can't reset floors as fast. But in single player, it goes by pretty quick. Welcome in, Icy Diamonds. Welcome in, Firefly. Hello to Melissa. How are you, Melissa? Welcome in, Shy Killjoy. Hi, Spark. Hi, Cat. Hey, Purple Espresso. Hey, Crafty. Welcome in, everyone. Hope you're doing well today. I think that I um, left off in the right spot here. Let me just check really fast. Yep. First day of spring, you're 49. I also couldn't remember. Oh, I'm not presenting. Silly me, we're playing Stardew. Move my face around a whole bunch. Nice 3-3... Three, three, oh, it's a 3-3-9, three, three, Crafty. I thought it was a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. That's a little worse. Should be an interesting D&D &D session. I was actually just thinking about D&D &D moments ago, Farland. Haven't you been on your winter break for three weeks? I work today, okay? Um... Yes, we did have a weirdly large break right after our break, but, you know, I'm not responsible for that. 
We also might have a snow day tomorrow based on the weather. Three times three equals nine. Quick maths. Wild Refrain, good morning. Speaking of awesome D&D peeps, if you're not following Wild Refrain, they are an amazing Stardew Valley streamer here on Twitch. And if you live, if, especially if you're a, uh, a Nighthawk near my time zone, or if you live in Australian adjacent time zone, you should very easily be able to catch their streams. How are you doing today, Wild? Good morning to you. D&D peeps, he's played twice. I want you to play more. Stop being in such a faraway time zone. Oh, dang, Handles. You can't do that this early in stream. I'm not ready. <laughs> Welcome in, Handles. Hope you're doing well today. We're going to be playing a bunch more wild. We'll get you in. We've only played six sessions, so you playing twice is one-third of the total sessions. It's not like it's a, <laughs> a minimal amount or anything. Hey. Hey. Exactly. Clearly was the best third. I don't know if how I'd rate the session so far. I think they've all been pretty good. They buffed it. You have such interesting D&D stories, Farland. You kind of worry <laughs> me about your games. You made a custom class and it got buffed. That is that is a new one for me. All right. So, it being Monday spring first here, we're just gonna uh, keep going for a while, I think. I think eventually we're gonna replace this all with muscles. I don't know, actually. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I kind of want to finish Muscles. They've been amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Wild. I've, I've been itching to play again. I'm so sorry you can't make it this weekend. Anyways, here's what I was thinking. I want to set up Piano's thing. The, um... What do you call that silly thing? The... The fish pond set up in a pattern that aligns them, basically. So I need to figure out how that's going to look pretty soon here. I kind of don't want to change my farm if I can avoid it too much. Maybe I get sick on the weekend. I would never encourage you to intentionally take work off to play D&D. However, I also can't control you. So <laughs> do as you wish. <laughs> Welcome in Atomic Spoonie. Hope you're doing well today. Evening. All right, let's see here. It is a Monday. We can actually just go straight to Sandy's here. It'll be, in fact, while we're here. I forgot to do the whole money thing. I've been taking my Algebra 2 final. Wait, you've been taking your final all weekend? That's a long final. Is it like a take home test? That's interesting. In Australia, we have a national pastime called pulling a sticky. Whenever you say <laughs> you're sick, but you just want to go do something fun. I think it's called like playing hooky here. Although I've never actually heard someone call it that. Good old sand mayo. It gives the mayo some grit, you know, the thing that you want in your mayo. <laughs> Everyone always wants more grit in their mayo. all done then. Look at all that mayo. Which was a take-home test. It's 250 questions. Everything we learned this year. 
How are you? You're taking it over multiple days then? Dang. It's actually kind of crazy. Or are you saying you've been studying for it? Oh, I see. Wow. That's intense. You're just taking it over multiple days? Is it just like a dampier? Oh, it's not a race though. You said it's a class. Interesting. Huh. Is it a one shot or is this for a campaign, Farland? How many hours do you have on Steam for Stardew? I'm uh, pushing 3,300 at this point. I think it's 32. If only there was some easy way to check, huh? 32, 66.9. What's the name of the class? Farland. Big fan of homebrew, homebrew classes. Come here. Have a great day, hey Mace. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> uh, Jules who I'm friends with on Steam, recently left a review for uh, Stardew that said something like that. <laughs> I think Jules has over a thousand hours. I should leave a review. That seems like a good idea. I think I would say more than just that, though. I might still make a joke like that, though. I'm still new to my Stardew Valley experience, but from what I can tell so far, it's going to be an incredible time. <laughs> And with 1.6 on the horizon, who knows what lies in store for us in the future. Do it. Do it. Yeah, DMNC, something like that. It's okay so far. I don't think I've fully explored the mechanics of everything yet, but from what I've seen so far, it's definitely left an impression on me. It really makes you feel like you're Spider-Man. That's a good one. Sap juice. 1.6 will be bring sap juice. Um, you joke, DMNC. But fun fact about sap, it's actually considered a forge, not a resource. <laughs> so that's not as impossible as you say. No, I joke. I don't joke. That's why I hope it's not impossible. I. I didn't even think about it until now, but... <laughs> huh. I hope not. <laughs> Too many things for y'all to meme over me. I have enough. Oh, I looked in here and forgot to press this button. Necromancer Death Marshal. But Necromancer already exists. To be fair, that Necromancer sucks, though. So, honestly, fair. <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad, I guess. But yeah, I kind of hope that doesn't happen. We both agreed to that. I mean, I think most people agreed to that. It'd be cool if there was, like, a Druid subclass that was, like, a Necromancer. I feel like that could work pretty well on theme. It's already a summoning class. Um, just the the wizard sub subclass for the necromancer. It's just kind of 
lacking. Most of the features it gets just don't do all that much. And the ones that it gets around summoning undead, while it's pretty good, it doesn't like... It really doesn't make you feel like a strong necromancer, right? It doesn't like... I don't know. I, I would say there's one feature that's pretty good. And it does actually feel pretty good. The rest are just kind of lacking, unfortunately. Yeah. Spores Druid? I mean, kind of. I was thinking something more along the lines of, like, all beasts that you summon with this class or turn into with this class are considered undead. And then, like, some benefit to that. That'd be kind of cool. Tiara for the horsey. I got you. I surrounded inside. Welcome in. For some reason, Farlin, you have you played Balloons Tower Defense? I feel like I've talked to you about that before. I'm imagining like the uh, the necromancer wizard in uh, in Balloons Tower Defense's ability. Even though it doesn't really make sense in the D&D context, it was just the first thing I thought of. Where are you, Tiara? There you are. It's so hard to see in your inventory. Bonk. Once per week. I feel like you want to be able to use your 20th level ability, right? This feels like it doesn't give you the opportunity to use it a bunch. You haven't played since you hit perfection? I would wait until 1.6 comes out and then you can hit perfection again, ankle biter. <laughs> if you want to. Yeah, I, I, I'll get to it in just a second. <laughs> When you face death by any means, your essence transcends the boundary between life and death instantaneously. You are restored to life as if the spell True Resurrection were cast on you. You appear at a location of your choosing. Within 60 feet where you died, your body fully restored with one hit point. There was something similar to that in some homebrew class I read before. Except you could reappear, re reappear like <laughs> really far away for some reason. Nah, that's a pretty cool 20th level ability. Did you get a tea set in the last stream? I did not, I think, because we had Robin. Robin can't give a tea set. Unfortunately, there was no hope. No hope. No, it wasn't that, Farlin. It was a homebrew class. I'm thinking of it specifically. It might have been a Matt Mercer one. For some reason, that's coming to mind, but maybe not. I remember for a long time ago. It definitely wasn't anything particularly recent. Maybe I came up with it. Maybe it was a feature I came up with. I don't think so, though. It's weird how memory becomes, like, associations after a certain amount of time. And, like, the things you remember are more, like, just vague recollections of similar things. Kind of annoying in some ways. My brain has to do important things, like functional m memory while I'm currently doing stuff. <laughs> if you didn't have to D if you wouldn't have to DM, which character would you play? Well, <laughs> I'm in a campaign too, and I'm playing an Arcanist, which is a homebrew class that I came up with. Uh, I'm planning on a second campaign. That one's almost ended, so we're already planning for the next one. And I'm going to be a barbarian slash warlock in that campaign. Which is not a super good class class combination, but I really want to make it work. Oh yeah, I mean, that's exactly what True, True Resurrection is for. Wished out of existence. Technically speaking, I think True Resurrection should work on that. I don't know, I have to read the spell. 
It's cool though. So in order for you to actually die, you have to die twice in one week. <laughs> Kill him twice. What is dead may never die. I had fun with the barbarian multi-class once. What did you multi-class it with? It's hard to manage with, um, with spells and rage, because you can't do both. But uh, Warlock has some good spells that you can cast before raging that persist through. Well, mostly Armor of Agathis, but there's a few other ones too. And most of my spells I'm going to take are going to be like out of combat utility sorts of things. My DM originally said my anti level ability should be summoned in an undead of spell slot level plus your proficiency bonus. No, that lets me summon Strahd. <laughs> Wait, how? That's at highest uh, 16, right? There's no way Strahd is 16. Actually, 15, right? 9 plus 6. What? Well, Strahd sucks, then. <laughs> I mean, that's not that absurd, though. Like, Shape Change lets you change into CR 20 at level 20. Hey, Jim Jam, welcome in. Ooh. I like Barbarian Hunter. I assume, like, Ranger Hunter. I think Ranger is a good multi-class for Barbarian. Can't really use Hunter's Mark, but there's some other stuff in there. Including spells. Yeah, that's true. Wait, Shape True Polymorph gives you spells too. That's kind of similar. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, Purple Espresso. We'll do a Barbie Dream House for the Shed. This character killed one of the most notorious notorious, excuse me, TPK encounters in a Pathfinder Adventure Paths. Oh, I see. Like, the character is the one who killed the... I see. Okay. That makes sense. At first, I read it as, like, was killed by it. I was like, why are you bragging about <laughs> dying? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's go to work here. Robin's not even open yet, huh? Picked a good day for it, though. Hi, Barbie. I assume that's a reference to the movie I haven't seen yet. One day soon. Six. Oh. Well, remove that and it's probably fine. <laughs> Or make it so, like, it's scaling. So you can summon one CR-15 or something. But you only get one. If you summon, like, lower CRs, you can get more. Did you watch Killers of the Flower Moon? I have not. I'm not sure what that is, unfortunately. It sounds vaguely familiar. Robin doesn't open till 9, huh? Stupid, silly Robin. Five zombie beholders. Actually, quite a bit of money. Yeah, it's true, DMNC. But it already exists in the game, so... It's kind of hard to deny someone. I'm so hungry. Only you can solve hunger problems. What should I eat for breakfast? Oh, you're already here. All right, chat, pick your favorite breakfast foods. We have someone to save here. All right, actually, the shed, very parby trink. Light pink walls and a hot pink roof. Is there a hot pink?
to red. Mm. It is very vibrant. I almost wish I could do like some white on the trim to mellow it out, but there's no white for some reason. Walls can be a little lighter. The problem is you can't really make things lighter. <laughs> I can make them less pink like that. It's like a paler pink. And the trim we could make. Like that? That looks nice, doesn't it? Because it's kind of got like a, a less saturatedness to its... Uh... Yeah, I like that. And then the purple, purplish pink and the reddish pink kind of work together nicely there. That's pretty. I actually really like that. <laughs> that turned out nice. Uh, I actually... I think we can do better for the roof, though. That's like more of a pink color, right? Or do you want it back the other way? Hey, Karik, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Tootie, welcome in. Popcorn for breakfast, always. Can we get a shout out for Tootie? Actually, I got it. Tootie. I almost wrote Tootie, by the way. Wonk Tootie. Where's my app button? There we go. Is a fabulous streamer here on Twitch. Farlin, why would you shout out me before shouting out? And you ruin the shout out. Do your job, Farland. I don't care if you interrupt me. Thank you. 2D is an amazing streamer here on Twitch. Very fun and relaxing and calming. Unlike the game that 2D plays, which is played up, which is the opposite of all those things. But <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Played up can be fun. Uh, you play it in turbo mode, which scares me, though. Who's this Algo guy, by the way? Honestly, who knows? Some some loser, probably. Where's my kill nature button? You know? Still missing it. Yeah, Tootie plays tons and tons of play it up and is very good at it. Like, it's, it's terrifying to watch <laughs> from my perspective. Because everything looks like it's moments away from falling apart, but Tootie just keeps it running somehow. near constantly and it's like turbo mode which gives you a card every single round rather than what is it normally like every four rounds or something like that so you end up having to take some pretty crazy stuff it's every three days normally okay Tootie always says hello to you when you come in, which is really nice. Hello! <laughs> Let's grab this while we're passing by. So, you'll never guess what I was ugly crying to before stream today. I was thinking, while making myself some tea, you know what I haven't heard in a long time? And it got, like, randomly stuck in my head, was the I Am Moana song from Moana. And I listened to that, I'm like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. And then I had to delay stream for five minutes so I could clear my <laughs> That song's so good. I don't even know if Moana's my favorite. I mean, it's definitely not my favorite Disney movie, but that song slaps. I feel like I can, like, do anything after listening to that. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it's called? How Far I'll Go? I thought it was called I Am Moana. Or is it, like, named both things? 
Did Wild not get shouted out earlier? I might have forgotten to do it. Thank you, Mermaid. Also, hello, Mermaid. Welcome in. You saw it twice. Nice. I, I Yeah, it's totally fine for you to do it, Mermaid. I'm just trying to remember if I did or not, because I can't remember if I did. Now I gotta go watch it again. You're welcome. There are two different songs. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the one I'm talking about is the one that happens at the uh, very climax of the movie. When she goes retrieves the stone from underwater. Hey, Mini Squatch. Welcome in. I'm trying to think of other ones that get me emotional. For some reason, um, this isn't like considered like one of the better songs in the movie by most people. But the one, one that really gets me a lot is... Um, can't even remember the freaking name of it. Or how it goes. You know what? Maybe I didn't like it that much. I haven't seen Frozen 2. Okay, I'll, I'll help. Maybe Jack can help me narrow it down. <laughs> it's from Encanto. It's one of the later songs. It's after Bruno. Uh, it's not the grandma song, which I don't even know if that has lyrics. Not seen in Kanto. Didn't watch Disney movies growing up. It's never too late. It's the one where she's trying to hug her sister. Um, thanks. Yes, that's it, Wild Refrain. What is the name of it? Killing me. What else can I do? There it is. Thank you, Espresso. Yeah, that's the right one. What else can I do? It just, like, hit me really hard because it was... I don't know. I thought it was a wonderful way to... Show them, like, growing back together as family. Them realizing that, like, they did love each other. And that the hang-ups they had with each other were rather, rather meaningless in comparison. Thank you, Espresso. The part where uh, Maribel... Mar Maribel? Mar Maribel? I think that's it. Forgets, like, why she's there and then just, like, changes into, like, being very happy for her sister. For, like, her realizing this about herself. Oh, that was amazing. Which is also why she was supposed to be there. <laughs> I didn't think Encanto was, like, the best film, but I, I think it did a really good job of... I think there was, like, six films in a row that were, like, about generational trauma <laughs> from Disney. I think it kind of got caught in the middle of that, but I think it did a good job of that, for sure. I had trouble forgiving the grandma in that movie, for sure. I, I still don't know if I truly ever did. Mamma Mia 2 makes me cry. There are lots of really good movies. Oh, it's a person. We never chanced other ones. Hey, Sappo. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah. Like, you can call We Don't Talk About Bruno overplayed or whatever you want. But that's It's a dang good song. The seven part harmony at the end is <laughs> actually incredible that they got that to work so well. It also makes it impossible to sing along to at the end at least. Hey, I, uh, I got a special delivery for a, a certain Joe TG. Joe, would you like this? <laughs> On. What is this vegetable stew thing? Like, how are you supposed to get that? Is that a different thing? I'm pretty sure that's not a real thing, right? <laughs> Look, in the house. It's only in the house? <laughs> A 
Eric, you got some splaining to do. But it makes... Also, 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 also. If you put a tomato and a beet into a bowl and mixed it up, I would struggle to call that stew in any <laughs> sort of world. But that's fine. Which is probably why it got changed to medley. Although it's a very small amount of veggies to call it a veggie medley. If you don't like that purple espresso, then you don't like salad. <laughs> no, you're right, yeah. I guess we shouldn't, like, <laughs> grasp too hard on the actual recipes. True espresso. Wait, when you're making espresso, you don't just, like, pour three cups of coffee into the same pot? I thought that was a foolproof re recipe. Ryan, you sure have some audacity. Audacity? What did I adas, squirrel? How dare I stream at my normal stream time for once in my life? Is that what was going on? You're more of a rose kind of guy. Well, you know what they say, a rose by any other name would taste just as nasty. I look the same as I always look, Squirrel. You might need to get your glasses checked. Alright, I think that's it for today. That's what they say? Who is they? Like, chocolate cake recipe makes no sense. I mean, there's no chocolate in the game. I think it's assumed that you put the chocolate in, you know? Arguably, like, and none of the cake recipes make no sense because they're lacking, like, key cake ingredients. Although that's most of what you need, I guess. Probably need some, um... Gosh, I forgot how to make cakes. What do you call this stuff? Baking soda? Does that go in cakes? I think it does. I think you need that. Otherwise, it doesn't go very well. Milk. Liquid. Butter. <laughs> butter is probably also important. I made all the Stardew Valley food to find out what was edible. Turns out it was just roasted hazelnuts. <laughs> I think there's another version of Stardew that had a cooking mini game instead of just a uh, cooking clicking game. My guess is that CA thought it through at some point but decided against it. Kind of like how there's a fishing mini game. I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. It, it actually might have been something similar to what he was thinking, Mermaid. Like, there already exist games for cooking. And probably didn't want to um, look like he was copying that. Yeah, Played Up is less about the actual cooking of the recipes and more about, like, managing a restaurant. I mean, you have to cook the things, but it's more about, like, making sure everything's cooked in a timely manner and getting it to the people. Cookie Mama. I thought it was called Cooking Mama. I haven't played any of those games, though. Is there a Paleo Cooking Parties? It's overcooked, but a lot more fun. See, I haven't played any of these games, but played up, so all of this is going over my head. Hey, Lucy, welcome in. I saw something like that on YouTube, Lucy. I don't know if it was the same person. I just need someone in my life to make um, seafoam pudding, because I'm so curious. <laughs> the eggplant farm has no cheese. That's very interesting now that you say that, Squatch. I hadn't considered that until now. That really probably shouldn't happen, given, you know, Parmesan.
I just need someone in my life. Don't take my quotes out of context. Yes, it's true. Maybe it's vegan. Well, then you need cheese substitute, which is... I don't know. What is in cheese substitute? <laughs> soy cheese? Can you make soy cheese? Tofu? Tofu isn't very cheesy, right? Yeah, I kind of... I was asking for that one, wasn't I, mermaid? Oh, we got a doggo visit. Welcome in, Cassie. It's lovely to see you. How have you been? We will go get doggo as soon as we have finished with the day today. I didn't do it until you said it. Yeah, I know. That's... <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said anything. Is that what you're implying? I should stop talking. Arguably, you make good points. Why is there so much mayo? The public demands it. And also, it's a lot of money. Please stop talking. Sandy kind of has a Barbie dream house. Why can't I get that color? CA allows no paint that he himself uses. That's probably not true. But <laughs> give us all the paints. I just wish we could paint things like a white color or an off-white color. The best you can do is gray, and that just looks odd to me. Like white trim, white trim, and white siding is like very common on houses. It feels kind of odd that you can't. I should actually, before I forget, can't do anything pastel either. What does pastel mean in this context, Squirrel? I actually just don't know. Is that like multicolored? I typically see pastel as like, like light in color. You can make them light, light-ish, but they're very vibrant by comparison, I guess. I guess I could buy this more often. <laughs> it's too far away. Ah, very desaturated. The dog throws me off every single time. <laughs> it feels so wrong. Uh, we're gonna do Rancher tomorrow to get rid of my, uh, my large amount of eggs. That's the wrong one. Oh, I should've grabbed that actually. Oh well. No ribs today. Oh, are they like matte colors? So very desaturated, so like not shiny looking. Can't see, it's so bad. They can be shiny. Uh, the trans pride flag, oh, okay. That actually helped a lot. I mean, it is your profile picture, <laughs> Mermaid. Or in your profile picture, at least. So yes, I don't know how I could not notice it. Piano, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Dang it, Piano, there's something I wanted to ask you, and now I forgot what it was. Did we get a shout-out for Piano? We did get a shout-out for Piano. Piano's a wonderful streamer here on Twitch. If you're not following Piano, you absolutely should be. What are you doing with yourself? Piano is doing a challenge in Stardew Valley currently to get 100 million gold in the first year of Stardew Valley, which is absolutely insane. Uh, the goal of today's stream, I'd like to make it to fall if possible. That might be a bit tough, but I think we can do it. It was not about the crane game, surprisingly. Looking at the crane game made me think of it. I remember specifically thinking... Oh, that reminds me. I have to ask piano, and then my brain goes blank. <laughs> Which is kind of just an incredible amount of dissonance, right? <laughs> It'll come back to me eventually. Um, It actually wasn't about that, but I should do that. <laughs> but um, I figured out, Mermaid, it's already going to grab the... Uh, it is grabbing the plush bunny right now, but it would be faster if it didn't. 
for the non-spring one. But I think I can just take that out. Like, I can edit the script to do that, probably. Because it's just the middle one. At some point, this isn't worth it anymore. <laughs> Not yet, though. Friskevu? Is that a phrase that I'm unfamiliar with? It's like deja vu or something? Tense feeling of being on the very brink of a powerful epiphany. Yes. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, though. But yeah, you're, that's dead on, pretty much. It was probably about something dumb. In retrospect, that's why I can't remember it. Yeah, tip the tongue. Oh, we gotta go get a dog, unfortunately. Gotta go talk to a man about a dog. But I think that's it for today. Yeah, like deja vu. Um, we want rancher. And then neither of these matter, huh? <laughs> Why does shepherd only apply to sheep? The crane game does work, yes. I did have to change something, but I told you about that already. For some reason, it had all zeros before piano. I don't know if that was intentional. Oh, crane game while get the doggo. I can go do that. It's not going to be a long one. Feels weird taking a break this early, though. This is such a dumb... <laughs> I guess you're befriending animals quicker, too. I got a couple of pigs. Why are you just turning level 10? You know, it takes a long time for me. No, Spoonie, you can reset your profession in the sewer. So I reset it on purpose to do this. Yeah, we'll actually go do crane game while we're getting the dog. That's a good idea. Let's go grab our eggs, though. It turns out we have a lot of eggs to sell, so it's absolutely worth switching professions because, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a few. I could probably grab the rest of it, too, but there isn't that much more. Did you double? Um, I'm going to keep it the same this time because I'm only going to be gone for a few minutes. But um, whatever the quota is, I have to write it in. I haven't done a stream with it yet. Sir, that is a lot of eggs. I know. It's scary. These are kind of pastel-y colors. If you lower the saturation a bit. But you can only get certain colors that way. Just keep it going through the dog section. I, I don't think you understand. <laughs> like, I cannot touch my computer while the script is going. But yeah, I mean, your DM could also just ban specific summons. Like, I would ban shadows, too, regardless. Leave cam on. But then the cam will be tiny. The whole point of seeing the dog is it's big cam. Uh, I could do the present one. I could do it. Okay. Bring cam closer. You know what? Your logic is too powerful, piano. I could do... um this one this should work because it should all fit in there and we can still see doggo more easily that could work no i i wouldn't use this here because it like cuts a bunch of stuff off but yeah we'll do that one then hi youtube <laughs> my youtube video cam Maybe I'll think of what I was going to ask you to, Piano, while I'm getting the doggy. Both can't find truffles in winter. No pigs can. 
That's like one of the few pig downsides is they're worthless in the winter and rain. Hey, Athena. Welcome in. Hi, some random teen. You've been here. How close are we on these, by the way? You know what? Didn't I... I thought I already got a stack of sea urchin row. Maybe I didn't. This must be the first stack still. For some reason, I thought I'd finished one. I didn't throw it in here, did I? No, it'd be right here. Oh, it's already done? Wait, is it? Oh, piano. I think I figured out what I was going to ask you. No, I wouldn't have asked you that. Oh my gosh, it's right there. It also might not go here. Yeah. It goes here. S H S L A B C D E F G H I J K L M. Yep. And then this goes here. There you go. Alphabetical. Nope, you have not. We're about to go get Doggo right now. Thank you for remembering, <laughs> Mermaid. I had entirely forgotten. You know what, Mermaid? I... You're right, and I hate you. I'll remember that for next time. Wow, Algo hurt, hates me. Time to get canceled. Cancel me. My heart is full of hatred, and I deserve it. <laughs> I got into an argument with someone the other day online. And, like, <laughs> it stressed me out so much. I am so anti-confrontation. <laughs> I never want to do that again. <laughs> like, I was just stressed out the whole time. Uh, we're good on this? Yep. I like how you clipped it. <laughs> Honestly, I deserve that. this place we're about to get a lot of money by the way cash money Woo! that is like the correct amount of waviness too <laughs> it goes woo, but it doesn't fly off of the screen Surprisingly, only four million. I was actually expecting a... Wait. That was 15 million. Why did it only show four? Oh, was it 14 million and it cut off part of it? I'm so confused. I had 10 million, and now I have 25 million. Okay. <laughs> it struggles with the last digit. I remember from Chords Run, it was like absolutely incomprehensible what it e was even saying. I imagine it will be similar with pianos. Oh, <laughs> y'all! Hi, Tiny Glowing Star. Welcome in. Tiny Glowing Star is also a super cool streamer here on Twitch. You should absolutely check out their stream if you're not already following them.
Brady time? We gotta get to the, uh... I have to get to the crane game. I was trying to go to the crane game, but yesterday the guy was there. But because he was there yesterday, he's guaranteed not to be here today. BRB, watch the PDs. Alright, see you soon, squirrel. Dink, dong. I don't know how much better the crane game is going to be. From what I could tell, it was quite better. But uh, I don't know how much to change it by for the Gamba. Dang, Frazzle! Did you show up just... If you all don't know Frazzle, by the way. Frazzle's a wonderful streamer here on Twitch. Uh, is doing the 999 challenge just like me, but cooler because Frazzle's using mods. What changed? Uh, Piano made a better version of it. Basically, it used to only grab from one spot the houseplants can appear. Mostly it was because we didn't realize that houseplants could only appear in two different spots. So now it grabs from both the spots that the houseplants can appear. So I, essentially it doubles its effectiveness, I believe. And Brittany, welcome in as well. Brittany's also an awesome streamer here. And between you and me, is super fun. So you should check out Britney's stream. And it grabs the plush bunnies too. Yes. Oh, it is spring, so we should actually get some. Yeah, I was actually like wondering how we hadn't gotten one yet, Piano. I didn't realize that they only spawned in a specific spot. And yeah, I'm probably gonna trim down the, um, make another one and trim it down to only be the the two spots and then stopping for outside of spring because that'll just go faster it saves the time it'll like exit oh i'd have to make it exit out though because it won't auto exit out i'll figure it out that won't be too bad you have to redo it entirely for that yeah i didn't think about that because it will automatically exit you normally right I could just make it not wait. Well, I could get rid of the bunny, so... Oh, but it won't be timed right. Oh. Hmm. I wish I understood how the script worked better. Because I don't want to make... Like, I don't like making you do it. I'm glad that you're being helpful and everything. Oh. That's one thing I can do, at least. Oh, it doesn't work here, does it? This never works. It's crap. To go. Oh, crazy how that works. Dang, Piano, welcome to the stack. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad-free viewing. Welcome in. <laughs> All right, sorry. I had to, you cannot gift a sub from the stream manager screen, and I have no idea why. <laughs> it's, it's like the weirdest thing I've ever encountered. Anyways, uh, let's go over to, it just seems like such a bad idea, doesn't it? It's like, of course you want to be able to gift a sub from this stream screen. <laughs> oh, whatever. Not important. Let's go get some lovely friends here. We are going to have to put down sneakers and sneaky for a bit, but as long as someone reminds me properly, we'll put them on after again. Look at everyone's here today. Who are you? I don't know if I've met you before. Uh, so many snack options. I'm Sean Connery. All right, I think I have to leave my sound on because I can't turn it off. Uh, so that should be fun. Oh, you know what I can do, actually? I have a mute button right on here. Wait, that actually switches it. Is there actually a mute button? Oh, it's on this side. So I can just do this. But then I can turn it off. 
This is so much better. All right, in this way, I can mute my mic while I'm not here at the very least. Uh, I also want to point my camera down, so I'm sorry, but you're going to look at me more for a little bit here. So that way, when Doggo comes in, you can see us more easily. All right, and I'm going to be back in a bit. Let me go ahead really quickly here and get this script fully operational. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to restart it, I guess. I didn't realize I had it open already. Um... And let me get some stuff together here. We're going to go ahead and throw on the ads. Well, let me start the prediction first. I'm going to change it to five. Okay. I don't know if it's a good idea to do that, but that's what we're going to do. Yeah, you're not like, yeah, I like how my face is just oh, cut off. Person. It's like I'm trying to hide myself, identity. Uh, I following and say gaming. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I shouldn't be muted anymore. Gaming. All right, and I'll be back momentarily. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and run the ads and I'll see you with the doggo in a bit. BRB. Okay. Um. All right, I'm going to close the script. It's clearly having some issues here. <laughs> this happens sometimes. I don't know why. If I restart it, it fixes it, though. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Okay. Bye-bye.
Hello. <laughs> I have a doggy. His name is Brady. What's your problem? You're already on the freaking ground. You haven't got your treat yet, have you? That's why you're upset. Wait. Wait. Gentle. Good boy. Good boy. You're such a good Brady. Hi, everyone. Is it uh, as as Jeff? As Jeff? Hope I'm saying that right. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. He knows I always have a second one. He's so smart. It's not in my hand, Brady. I can assure you of that. My hands are clean. That doesn't stop you from wanting to lick it, huh? I'll get it for you. Don't worry. He fell. <laughs> so how is everyone doing today? Brady wants to wish you a very happy day. He usually struggles with the stairs, but he did so well today, he came right up. No issues at all, didn't even slip. He smelled the treat, I think that helped quite a bit. How many houseplants are we up to, by the way? We're already at three. Dang. So cute, how old is he? He's uh, he's pushing 13. He's gonna be 13 in about a month and a half. Yeah, actually it's like two months because it's the end of March. You old fart. Did anyone tell you that you're like a billion in dog years yet? Royalty, yeah, exactly. You want your second treat? All right. You gotta work for it, though. Come on, sit up. Can you shake? Shake. Good boy, you remembered. Aww. I haven't done that with him in like 10 years. <laughs> we used to, remember, we used to have you roll over. Now you break in half if you tried that. Remember, there's no, you got two. You know the rule. <laughs> You know the rule. There's two of them. Oh, oh, he's out of frame now. <laughs> Brady, people gotta see you, bud. He knows he got his two treats, and he's like, okay, I can I can step out of frame now. Ryan's got nothing left to entice me. There's nothing more that you can give me so I can lay down. Your dog is 70. Come here, bud. Come on. Come, <laughs> Come this way. Come on, now you can lay down, sit, down, good boy. Now people can actually see you, right? Sorry, I don't have any more treats, so. You just ate dinner, too. You really shouldn't be looking for more treats. You take so much after me. I know it's dinner, but it's just one pocky. My boy. Are you yawning? Is that what you just did? Is that a yawn? Are you tired of me? This is your hair, which you have left on my floor. It's not food. Stop sniffing it like it's food. It is literally inedible. It came off of your bum. <laughs> have you had enough? 
You ready to say goodbye? Or at the very least, ready to lay down. What do you mean new script is up? Oh, new script is OP. Yes. <laughs> it grabs all the plants now. We d I thought it was random before, which is like, well, the script can only go up three. So, you know, that's not going to be that useful. I have a very small chance of getting one each time, you know. But this one, <laughs> because we know where the two plants are and where they're always going to be or where they can be, I guess is probably the best way to put it. This, like, guarantees a plant if there's one there. And it guarantees two if there's two there, which is such a huge difference. All right, come on. I think it's time. I know, I know. You just ate. You got your two treats. You've been pampered nonstop for your entire life. And you want more. I've been there. I get it. But I think it's time for you to go, bud. freaking out about, huh? <gasps> you leaving? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna stay there, I guess. Let's switch to close mic. Uh, yes. There's always the same two spots where it appears. It doesn't have to be it, though. So, like, it could technically be anything. It doesn't have to be the... Well, not anything, maybe. I'm sure that there's rules for where everything can appear. But, yeah. There's a chance it's not the plants in either of those spots, or in only one of them, or in both of them. But if they can appear, they'll be there. Uh, the reason it goes three times is because we have three credits. And also... The spot that's in between the two plants can be the um, the plush bunny in the spring. Oh, also, Ellie, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. I feel like these lights are a little too bright. They need to be, like, a tinge darker. It makes me look really pale. What's that, um, that one clip? I so pale. We're live on TV. Oh. <laughs> I so pale. Ah, oh, all right. All right, this is for all the marbles. If we drop this, believers lose. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, oh it just made it. <laughs> Oh, whoops, I forgot to... No! All right, I can just leave. Back off. Oh, no, we, uh... <laughs> we already had five. <laughs> what a difference, by the way, that makes. We also got a plush bunny, which is huge. Also, we've never gotten a lawn flamingo before. These actually stack. Wait. Oh, <laughs> this scared the crap out of me. We already have these, I think. I hope. Uh, and these two? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have those as well. Oh gosh, I hope. Hold on. <laughs> Did anyone ask Ja what he thinks about this? What does Ja rule say? <laughs> I think we have these. Uh, oh, um, that's right. Choose prediction outcome. Uh, five or more. We got six. You can buy those from the night market. I'm just going to go ahead and do the old college check to make sure here. Yeah, okay. It's these two here. Solid. It actually doesn't even fill my whole inventory. All right, we got to do the counts really quickly. Let's actually switch to Stardew here. Our regular one. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22. <sighs> 28. That's not the right spot. There it is. I'm going to make a break here. Okay, this is actually busted. <laughs> That's the highest percentage by far. <laughs> that might have more than doubled it. That's kind of crazy, actually. We also got a plush bunny. We're going to call this one. We're starting over. I wouldn't call it OP. It's just significantly better than the previous script. Everyone thank Piano again. If you are not following Piano, do it. Do it. Piano is amazing, and not just because they're really good at <laughs> making scripts, but because they have an amazing stream. Uh. Congrats, Wood. And also, we'll come in. Do you know that Piano has legs? Yes, I, um, I sung karaoke with Piano for hours at TwitchCon. <laughs> Possibly literally hours, actually. The night was kind of a blur. It might have been more or less. I'm not sure. This piano has legs. <laughs> Is my dog gone? My dog's gone. I'm going to go check on him really quick. I'll be right back. The old fart needed help getting downstairs. Hey, Miss Melissa, welcome in. It's always, it always freaks me out a little bit, like mentally, when people have a greeting as a part of their name. <laughs> it like always throws me off, just, just a little bit, just enough to make it interesting. <laughs> Sticker, here I come. Someone said, Cat was, Cat, you said you were close to a sticker, right? Did you win that one? How close are you at right now? I gotta send out the two for Farland and Burnt Soup. I have the addresses printed and on the envelope. I was gonna wait though to send them out at the same time. I guess I kinda don't need to. Awkward time save. The annoying thing about it is that um, I obviously can't put a return address. So I got to make sure to do it right the first time and hope there's no complications with the mail. Ryan's are so OP, yes. It comes with the territory. You def owe me a sticker. Maybe if you haven't bought so many sneakers, which I totally forgot, sneakers should be on my head right now. Fixing then you'd be able to. Consider I'm really helpful. You know, you make a decent point. Is that... <clears throat> Is that... That, 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 the Li Chaton? One of these days, I'm going to, like, perfectly learn a sentence in French, and when you subscribe, I'm going to say it. And it's going to, like, be absolutely perfect French. And it's going to freak you out. And it's going to be the only thing in French I can say. <laughs> if you all don't know, Lee Chat is a wonderful French-Canadian Stardew Valley streamer who is really, 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 really awesome. And you should check them out immediately. They have a super cozy personality, a great, great stream that's very fun to hang out with. And they speak a little French. And by a little, I mean all of it. Merci pour l'ambiance. 
Lebanimant? 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 Lebanimize. Can Canada's unite. Canadians, right? Well, I can say Marcy. I, I knew Marcy. Marcy. Uh, the rest of it is unfortunate. <laughs> Perfect French is definitely not the weirdest thing that's ever come out of your mouth. Cat, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna forgive you because you're a regular. <laughs> I kid, I kid. How are you doing today, Lee Chat? It's good to see ya. Break any world records when I wasn't looking? I'm doing well. I worked today for the first time in a while. I don't think so. The fact that you're not sure is somehow comforting, I feel. Mostly focusing on the one run. Yes, very excited. If you all didn't know, Lee Chat and Blinksy, two of my favorite people, are going to be on the Frost Fatels GDQ that's coming up in February? Am I, am I remembering that right? Is it February? Um, you can go ahead and post the time if you want to, Lee Chat, because I don't remember it. March 9th, that's kind of like February. It's also my stream anniversary. <laughs> uh, interesting. I didn't know it was on March 9th. I'm probably streaming on the 10th, though. Oh, you're doing it on my stream anniversary for me, Lee Chat? Tell Blink that they're awesome for doing that. Because you absolutely choose what time <laughs> you do the run. <laughs> It's a good run. Seeded boiler room. That has a 100% chance of succeeding every single time. Remember that time I blew up your farm? That was a good time. Remember that time you were looking for hell bats? And there was like literally one on the floor that you ignored? That was also on my farm. <laughs> I had the power of RNG and Blade on my side. I actually really like that phrase. <laughs> I kind of want to bring that one out for like a, whenever, if we're ever doing something competitive. <laughs> I can't lose. I have the power of Blade and RNG on my side or RNG and Blade on my side. So fitting. Grab this. Yeah, yeah, it was worth adding. Even if I had to bother to type something. Maybe we need more VIPs. Lee Chat can't always be here. There'll be an opportunity for more VIPs soon-ish. Probably during the stream anniversary that will probably be coming up here around the same time Lee Chat's running at uh, Frost Patel's. That's what you think leaves channel open. <laughs> oh, I know you lurk, Bunches. I volunteer. Honestly, Soup, I'm surprised you're not VIP. <laughs> I think what I normally do is I lower the cost of VIP during the stream anniversary. Like last time I loaded, lowered it to like 20k. This time I feel a little higher. How goes it? Hey Dave, welcome in. It's going well. Lee Chat, I have been counting the days. They changed the requirements, and I don't want a single thing to be out of place when I actually apply this time. Like, the specific... the It's apparently what they'd always been doing, but they, like, made it... 
they made it more explicit. Uh, basically, for the past two 30-day periods, yeah, the past two 30-day per periods, the day before you partner, basically, or before you, before you apply, each 30-day period means at least eight streams that are above the 75 mark. 75 viewer mark. I can't even talk right now. I don't know what's going on. That's the basic, though. And right now, I technically still don't have that, but I'm very close. <laughs> because the 30 days before uh, this last 30 days, I was taking a break. So there's a big gap in there. <laughs> I took like a week off or something. I think that's when I went to uh, New Orleans. So I missed like a seven day period in a row almost. And then maybe didn't want to stream one day. That makes a huge difference missing a week, by the way. <laughs> Surprising how huge of a difference that makes. But like also, I could just wait a little longer. It's not like, I mean, streams have been really good since then, so. No need to push anything. We got four morels there, by the way. Those pretty iridium morels. Yeah, it's kind of weird with that wild, but it's like, apparently that's always what they've been looking for. It's just now they're actually saying it. <laughs> Which I'm glad they're at least saying it. But I have a day marked in my calendar, basically. That I can apply where I meet all the requirements. I might wait a little longer, though. I'm not sure. Yeah. There's still some ambu ambiguity, because it does say they can deny you for any reason, which I guess you kind of have to have that, right? <laughs> also, my YouTube channel's been popping off lately, thanks to Ava. It's not, like, massive or anything, but I almost have 2,000 subscribers now. My last two videos were about 2,000 views. This last one, it has about 2,000 views, and it's only been out for, like, two days. Yeah. It's been going really well on there. Teach me. I figured it out, <laughs> Lee Chat. I can't make edited content. I can't just sit there and, like, talk over stuff. So I just go on stream with a plan. And then I, like, talk about something for an hour and a half. And then I hand it to Ava, and I'm like, cut this down. <laughs> and then Ava does this amazing job, making it, like, 12 minutes, and then I post it. It's perfect. <laughs> Foolproof. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how to just, like, string, like, things together. But if I, I can just sit here and talk and blabber on for three hours if I need to. Crack the code. <laughs> it's... It works okay. It's like, I realized it because that's like kind of what Small Ant does and like um, a bunch of other people too, like when they're doing certain challenges and whatnot. But I just realized I have so much stuff to talk about with this challenge that I can just like start stream out by talking about it for an hour and a half and then make it into a video. <laughs> I know, Ellie. Ava's so good at it. I was not... I actually didn't notice that when I was watching it the first time. I stopped before the end. So that I, I only saw that live. But it was very funny. <laughs> yeah, you can see the sea urgents and the coral. You can also see all the other fish, but just their silhouettes. So you see how there's like little shadows. It's kind of hard to tell in the uh, mussel ponds. It's based on their size. You can more clearly see the stingrays. Thoughts of the end? Yeah, like the stingrays are here. Makes me think of uh, Animal Crossing with the shapes of the silhouettes of the fish. Anyways, thoughts on the end of Hermitcraft Season 9? I think it ended pretty well. I would have loved to see Decked Out go on longer, but I think Tango made the right decision on that. I think it was right at the edge of, like... Not enough people were playing anymore, and I think a lot of people really wanted the season to be done with. I think it was good timing. I'm happy with it, at least.
Yeah, Lee Chat, just kind of coming back to that, I just, I kind of just realized what my strengths were, which was not like highly edited content, but being able to talk to chat for like hours at a time is kind of what I'm good at. So that's kind of what I decided to lean into, and it worked out really well. I was surprised. Mm. I watched some of that today, Dave. I am, while I was working, well, in between, like, when I had classes today when I was working, I watched some of that video. It was really good. I haven't watched Captain Sparkles, like, do stuff in such a long time. It kind of felt weird to do so. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a message. No way. My heart sank for a minute because I thought I forgot to pay Ava again, but I paid Ava. I remember now. <laughs> I was just like thinking, I was like, wait a minute, did I? No, I did. Did I leave the stove on? No. Yeah, I'm about halfway through myself, Dave. It was interesting to see a new perspective on it. Slight spoilers for that video, but I cannot believe he survived the first run. That's like so crazy. Like, you could definitely tell he had no idea what he was doing, but he still managed to pull it off. I hope some more people do that, too. Captain Sparkle solely does music in my head. Yeah. Those songs are still stuck in my head as well, Zim Zam. From all those years ago. So we back in the mines. Nothing will beat the Viva La Vida one for me. I don't know why that one, that one's definitely my favorite though. Oh man. Hey witch, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. It's the story of every day for me. It's always a compelling story, right? Nothing good there. I'll check quickly for some morels. Hopefully there's at least one. Oh, there's one. Yoink. Um, Maron music. I don't know if I've heard that before. How are you doing today, by the way, Zimzam? Welcome in, or rather, Zemzam. Apologies. Oh no, witch. That's actually, that really sucks. I hope nothing was damaged severely at all. My gosh darn furnace decided to give out the other day. And as many of you know, it's pretty cold over here right now. Although having said that, it's 23 now, which is downright warm compared to what it has been. Um, but it turned out not to be a serious problem. We called the, like, emergency furnace service, and they were out there in a few hours, and they were able to get it fixed in, I can't remember what the issue was, but, like, an hour or so. The house dropped, like, 50 degrees in that time, though. <laughs> not quite. It was, like, low 60s, but it felt like 50. Makes lo-fi electronica music. Oh, interesting. Nothing got damaged, just like everything got wet and such a pain to clean. Yeah, for sure. Everyone else was untouched. Do you ever just feel like the world's against you? <laughs> oh, at least your cats were safe, witch. It's a good day when I finally open Twitch. Yeah, I imagine you were stuck at work before. We're almost at the end of the week, assuming that you live by a normal work week structure. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes, cats were all good. Kind of having a good time with the water, too. <laughs> I can just imagine you rushing in, like, worried. 
Like, like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And the cats are just like playing around with the water. <laughs> Sitting in some floaties, having a beer. Like, hey, look who's back. <laughs> my black cat was lacking in it, lapping it up. Hello, what's in your greenhouse? Nothing important right now, sick, sick nasty tuna. I used it for um, for the remainder of these fruit, but right now it's kind of empty of anything important. Oh, it's Monday. Let's go ahead and do these real quick. I should just finish this today so I don't forget later. I should also change my profession to um, the other one. Artisan? Artisan. There it is. So they can sell all this mayo. give you the ones I had. Do you want me to just send you the script that the numbers I used to fix it? Alright, let me just go ahead and open that real quick. Oh, that's our one. Edit. Edit script. There we go. I'm just going to send you it from the loop onwards. Oh, did you delete it? <laughs> it said you sent me a message. Uh... All right, there we go. Going to uni soon. Oh, that's awesome. Can I ask what you're going to be studying? Always cool to hear about that. I studied physics. And I really liked it. I got my undergraduate degree as a bachelor's of science in physics with a teaching certification for both physics and general science. 1.5 billy is insane. Wait, what? <laughs> what are we talking about, sick nasty tuna? Who's billy? Dick sight? Yes. Primary education. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, what's primary again? Is that um, the equivalent of U.S. elementary school? Or is that middle school? Slash high school. Elementary is um, primary, right? Yeah, because secondary is high school and middle school. That's awesome, though, that you're going to be teaching. Good for you. I, I don't know if I could deal with young children. They're so gross. <laughs> Very cute, but so gross. Although, high schoolers are also kind of gross sometimes. Ooh, all sent then, piano? Uh, which one's... Which one's which? You sent two. I already have the one for spring, so is three the one not for spring? Or is two, like, updated in some way? Oh, three is for spring. Well, I already have the one for spring, unless it's somehow shorter. Unfortunately, two is what I named my other one. I'll just rename it. Okay. 
We'll just call this summer, fall, winter. Save the world. Where am I? Oh. I don't think I changed three. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where did I save it? I can save it to downloads. I have an empty folder called stuff from Jess. I feel like there's a metaphor there somewhere. I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. I find it funny that that's, that's there. All right, we'll put that right there so we don't lose it. Now it's on my desktop and I won't ever run out or lose it. And we're good. Hey, Toby, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. I haven't seen any painting spots in a minute. Okay, pretty happy with that. Thank you so much, Piano. I, I'm gonna get you something. I'll find something to get you. Ooh, we got some Tiger Slime eggs today. I owe ya. I owe you big. If you ever need me something, let me know. Do you have any tattoos? No, I've never really been interested in a tattoo. I'm not like opposed to it. I don't know. I don't know if there's ever been something in my life that I felt is monumental enough that I'm still gonna want it on my body like 10 years from now. I need about 900 tea sets, please. Okay, there are some things I can't do. <laughs> That's very valid. Yeah. I think tattoos look pretty sweet though. Like, I definitely think they're cool. It's just not something that I very much enjoy. My first tattoo is a centipede because I like centipedes. Like, I couldn't even fully explain why I don't like the idea of getting a tattoo. So I'm certainly not opposed to other people having them. Is that quest not worth 100 ladders? It's, it's about the time. Because we're, like, sleeping immediately. That's, like, five minutes of laddering. Where I could just not be doing that. Uh, oh, we were going to go back here. You have Winnie the Pooh on my ribs? Oh, that's actually super cute. Uh, it's stack check. Tiny glowing star. There you go. Not great, not terrible. Ooh. Every time I say that, I need to rewatch Chernobyl. <laughs> it's kind of insane, like, how much of an association that phrase now has with that show for me. Honestly, kind of. <laughs> Plus, I'm not done taking other quests as well. Just right now, we're speeding ahead. Yeah, Chernobyl is an amazing show. Piano, you might actually be witness here. Pretty soon here. Why are you collecting mayo again? I'm just going to sell it. I might be switching this up today. If not today, it might be tomorrow. I'm thinking of switching this over to the uh, your method. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. There's like no reason. As soon as we're done with the um, urchins, like why not? I might have to delete a few and make some counts, but that might be a good project for today. Move chests to the left side. I want to keep the chests here. It won't be a complete pattern yet. I'm probably not going to do the full thing, but I think I'm still going to do it. I'm just, I'm worried about this poor guy. Look how hard he's working. He's at 1,500 crows. And I might have to get rid of him. I wonder if this goes up to 2 billion. It probably does. <laughs> 2.14 billion. <laughs> you get it negative. <laughs> someone, someone tell Filthy Gorilla. <laughs> I've scared negative 2 billion crows. When you finally reach the end of your challenge, are you going to sell everything? Yes, that's the plan, Squatch. That's, that'll be a backup because I want to keep it, but I do want to see like how much it would make. He's doing such a good job. I know. You don't need to move him? Okay, I haven't looked at the thing in a minute. We're going to have to have less of these. I'm going to have to move these statues for sure. 
Probably all of them, because I think it goes all the way up to the top there. We'll have to think about some difference of uh, how we're doing it. Let's go to Krobus really quick. Not specifically for Krobus, but to that area. I wish they kept their tallies. Wait, what, what do you wish kept their tallies, Mini Squatch? The crows? Oh, when you move them. Should be pretty easy to set up. Yeah. Uh, the ponds aren't going away, Toby. Well, some of them are. But uh, they're kind of moving around. We're going to put them into a pattern that basically makes it so they're all going to have the same thing. So when one of them has row, they'll all have row. Well, not all of them, because there's still a chance they don't produce anything. But if they can produce something, they'll produce the row. Yeah, I know, you can run diagonally. Exactly. I kind of, I like the up and down, but yeah, diagonally would be better. Okay, let's see here. We need to collect these guys. I can collect that tomorrow, actually. Let's sleep. Oh yeah, I saw that tiny glowing star. They have a lot of references to uh, different farming sim games. They they definitely seem like they care. I, I like Coral Island. Like, I think the devs did a good job. I think it's a cool game. I just don't think it's a game that I enjoy super much. Let's you skip dialogues that don't produce anything. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, the diagonals that didn't produce anything. They'll be on kind of like the same cycle. Wait. They replace themselves the next day, right? If there's something there to replace it, it will be a new thing. Yes, okay. We want new ponds. Okay, we'll get there, we'll get there. We have to finish the sea urgents first. Yeah, you don't need to collect. I, I, I was pretty sure that was the case. I just wanted to make sure. No gold bars yet. <laughs> Our sea urchin's almost done. We're already nearing... I think we're at 900 almost around, right? Probably in the 800 still. You need to collect if you want the result to change. Pretty sure that's not the case, right? I thought it replaced the thing that was there before, regardless of if you collect it or not. Here, I'm gonna leave this here. We'll leave the trash there and see if it's different tomorrow. I thought for sure it did, too. I want all that, though. It's surprisingly close for which one's going to finish first, despite the muscles almost being done. All right. Okay, take a good long look here. I'm actually gonna just take a pick here from the side. Dang, mermaid! Only the first muscle stack, I'm aware. Unfortunately, I'm very aware. 99 percentile. All right, we changed our profession, right? We need some more money. That's what I'm normally thinking on days like today. We gotta go over to the other one because there's too much mayo. <laughs> Ostriches are strong, I like them. Now, if they could produce like more that'd be great wouldn't it 
Uh, we gotta go down to here. I was like, why did I come over here? Oh, yeah. Mayonnaise. And we sleep. How much money are we thinking here? Probably not as much as last time. Golden eggs are ridiculous. It looks like more, actually. <laughs> it's not moving as much. I think it might actually just be six million. Unlike last time where it lost a digit. We had 25 before. Yeah, it was actually just six million this time. Yes. The idea is to collect a full stack of all stackable items, Zemzam. I should link my video now. <laughs> and you won't believe what stacks. No one ever does. Yeah, these are different now, Piano. Definitely different. Newspaper's gone. Those are all replaced. Okay, that's good. Uh-oh. Every time someone does that, cat, I think my frames are dying. I did drop 98 frames so far today. And I blame Mermaid for that. It's all your fault. They kind of did die. Uh-oh. Maybe it was just there? I don't think so, though. It's not continuing to drop frames, at the very least. I should do a speed test now that I'm on technically gigabyte internet. I'm actually kind of curious how much faster it is. Muffins eating them. You too, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Gigabit? No, I took a bite out of it, so. Oh, eight times faster? Well, you know. Yeah, gigabyte internet might be a bunch. You know, I got connections in Xfinity. They hooked me up. <laughs> 12,000 down. 8,000 up. Yes, I'm aware, Piano. <laughs> Surprisingly, that was not a brag. 10 gigabyte is a thing. Gigabit, sorry. What fantasy land is that? At some point, it's like barely noticeable, the difference, right? Like, how much stuff are you actually uploading or downloading? I feel like with gigabit already... Is it even that much no more noticeable? You can probably download, like, Baldur's Gate in 10 minutes. <laughs> Do you need to go faster than that? Xfinity is known to be good for streamers. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not, honestly. Because most ISPs are bad, so it's not impossible that... <laughs> I won Fortnite, never hold an Xbox controller before, and I was like, OMG, someone needs to get me streaming on Twitch. I don't know if I'd ever stream Fortnite. It just doesn't seem like something I'd want to. We'll get to it. We'll get to it when we get to it. We have to actually finish the sea urchins first. We actually might not get to it today. I didn't realize how many more sea urchin row we needed. We're still a little bit away. I got like five kills, it was insane. Eh, we're actually pretty closer. A little bit closer than I thought. It's beneficial for sea urchins, but I'd rather not have to, I have to delete some pawns, so I was just gonna delete those. Ocean? I don't have to delete? I thought, like, I would have had to move my chests if I didn't, right? You designed it for my pond count, but I thought, like, things were moved around. I think I have to get rid of, or, like, move the barns, right? At least. Okay. Have I not seen this one, then? I thought the one you showed me was slightly different than that. 
I thought I saved it in here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, didn't it have... Because it gets rid of a whole bunch. I know you can't see because my face is here. But <laughs> I guess I can hide my face. Like, I need room for all my barns and stuff still. I can fit one down here, probably. Hmm. Also, where's my shipping bin gonna go? Huh? <laughs> Can stack the barns and enter from the top? I mean, true. But there's six coo coops as well. There's two barns and five coops. Anywhere. I know, I'm kidding about that one. Wait, can I fit the coop here? I think I could actually. One coop at least. Just sell the animals, it's their time. I need the money from the golden chickens. What if there's like some super expensive item in 1.6? <laughs> I can get rid of the rabbits, that's probably true. Oh, those poor rabbits. Okay, that leaves three coops and two barns. I can get rid of one of the barns because we don't need the uh, the cow. I mean the goats. Hmm. Please don't make me stack the golden clock. All right. Uh, this should be doable. I can get rid of one barn and two coops. Yes, that's why I'm keeping a coop. I want to keep the two golden chicken coops, too. The poor little bun-buns need to go bye-bye, yeah. Gotta move the statues? Yeah. Who needs them? I kind of like them. We need to know when the coconut day is so we can go collect them. I'm probably also going to spend some time moving them away from the spring onion spots. Just in case there's, like, spring onion juice. Because it's technically a forge. We need to start collecting that again. I'll leave them for now. Because we're not going to do it quite yet. Oh, my face. Um, did you really... I mean, do you, like, really have to see my face, though? Why are you a fish pond? There are still many theories about it. It's <laughs> just how I like my streamer. Sans streamer. Hi, Chunky. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Bring back sneakers. I already did, Brittany. Hey, fair. Welcome in. Brittany, thank you so much for the resubscription for the 17th month. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad-free viewing. Hey, Ocean. Welcome in. Remember the rabbits, George. All right. Are you guys ready for the sad times? I think we're going to sell. On the plus side, we get a few more, um, a few more other things out of this. So, like, no offense to these fellas, but they're not really doing all that much, are they? A hundred and twenty-four months. I think these are random names. <laughs> Fungus. <laughs> Gotta be honest, Zuni. Like, bye, Bert. <laughs> Goodbye, Wiki. I don't think I named that one. Bye, Fr Frinny. <laughs> Bye, Worty. <laughs> Goodbye, Jart. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is that name? <laughs> Hold on, I'm writing that down for D&D. <laughs> I'm definitely naming someone that. That's incredible. <laughs> Can we keep Jartly? We might have to. I can technically keep Jartley if I get rid of an ostrich. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta write this down. Mm. Jartley. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um. Zalabo. 
Okay, hold on. We have to choose an ostrich to get rid of, though. They're all named, I think. We can get rid of this one, right? That one's kind of worthless. <laughs> Make sure to keep an auto petter. Yeah, I'll grab the auto petter. Don't worry. Long horse. We don't need Habu. John, Claire, Rocco, Ron, Brady, Tushi, Ronnie. We have Ron and Ronnie. I feel like we found our uh, our decision tree here. We have Ron and John. John's a reference to many a true nerd. So we can probably get rid of Ron. Oh, you can do that from here? Oh, that's convenient. All right. Well, that's a lot of money for an ostrich. I love the little wild noises. I do too. I have two Brady's, but one's a dog and one's a <laughs> ostrich. I feel like those are very different. Bye, Ron. We gotta go save Jartley. I'm sorry, rescue Jartley. Home changed. I guess we really don't need this, huh? Uh, yes, auto petters do add friendship slowly. I was told a long time ago that they don't, but they actually do. So these are the ones I'm keeping because, um, yeah, they're old. Why would they not? I was told that they don't increase, but they maintain, but they do actually increase. It's just not very fast. All right. Goodbye, Manert. <laughs> goodbye, Trumbu. <laughs> See you later, Gatchley. Adios, Koku. Sayonara, Jeppe. Hasta la vista, Tungus. Bye, Pratsu. Ain't nothing like Nutchers. Catch on the flip side, Trimzy. Uh, don't let the door hit you on the way out, Grip... Gripaney? Gripaney? Huh. Sayonara, Schmemmer. <laughs> Toodles Zustu Zatsu 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 Probably I got multiple stacks I have some rabbits I'm keeping This is my um This one's not going away So We'll have those so This one's empty Nothing in here The heater's in here I kind of don't need it, but the heater stack. Yeah, I think so. But I, I've already bought all of them. I don't need more. Buy snorters. <laughs> snash, snashy, snashy. Okay, off. Rem Renabo by. Fitzneo? Sinover? Isn't that like a region in Pokemon? Is that a reference to something piano? <laughs> I actually don't recognize that. Isn't there like a region in Pokemon called Sinover? Sino, Sino, okay, that's probably what I was thinking of. Zu, Zulu, Zulu, Popo, don't call the Popo, Triana, Triana, Putzu, Riskers, I actually like that as a rabbit name. It's like Whiskers, but riskier. Logan, and finally, Iggy. It's actually a good name. I might have named that one. All right. Pop, pop, pop. All right. Boom, boom, boom. 
Let's go tell Robin to go explodey on these fellas. Yeah, I know. That's what I, I recognized it from something, Cat. Oh, I meant to put this stuff away. Well, we got three more auto petters, which was really the important thing here. 90 auto petters now. Iggy is your roommate's name. It's a good name. Uh, we can just get rid of them. Eh, just in case. I'll put them in the extra area here. Oh, we've already got some. He says he's already got one. Uh, I'll rename another one for you, cat. It was it actually a rabbit reward? I don't remember that. Yeah, I have rabbits in here. I can name one for you. Wait, can you not rename a Oh yeah, you can. Um, not Holly though. Lily. Wabbit. Was that actually a reward? I don't remember that. I think you're right though. It's coming back to me slightly. <laughs> you can have the older one. There you go. It wasn't a new one at the time anyways, right? Is that something you're okay with, Cat? Or do you want me to move the other one in here? Because you're right, it was a reward, so. I will not start a riot. Is this okay with you, then? This one will never get deleted. Did you not murder the other one? Oh, gosh. There was another one, wasn't there? This was never meant to be a permanent thing anyways, because I was never going to keep all those animals forever. But you're right. I think I named Logan. Golden chickens we could fix. I completely forgot that I did that. I love how they name those things. Okay, hold on. Well, all right, haven't you been working hard? All right, here we go. <laughs> I like the coop just over here. Chillin'. This is the right amount of ponds, too? Dang. Remove the command because it's shut now. Oh, uh, yeah. I should at least remove it from my title, huh? Oh, wait. I have a thing over here. I forgot it was shut. Alright, it's out of my title, at least. 74 fish ponds. That's actually one more than I have, Piano. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get rid of the fiber. I, I'll add one here later, but I'll just remove this for now. Actually, I might not keep this one here. Eh, I should. It's blocked right now. Because there's a uh, chest right here for the moment. I also need to remove the Iridium Crobus. It's okay, Iridium Crobus. We'll find you a new home. Why isn't Fish Pond the way that it was? What? I don't know what you mean. Radium Corbus has to have a new home. We'll put you here for now. Oh, you can't put it there. <laughs> can't put it there? Hmm. Perfect. I actually don't know if it can go in Leah's area. You know, I walked down here to put this stuff away, and then I just didn't do that. Stable moves. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there should be room up there, then. The stable should still fit up here. <laughs> I don't need to move it down there. 
Oh, I guess you guys can't see that very well. Yeah. I could still fit the stable up there. You can't path around it. Oh, I see the problem. It's okay. I'll be moving a bunch of stuff anyways. Uh, I'm going to go delete the buildings first that I don't need while Robin is still open. Dog bowl in the way. Dump invent. I have walked down here four times to dump my inventory. My goodness. <laughs> like, literally have walked down here four times to do this. Okay. This time for sure. We're, we made it. We did it. <laughs> Alright. Inventory is good. I really don't need that. Um, what about a chest? These are all good. I need to clear out most of this. You said I can leave this guy here, which is nice. Even though he won't have any crops to tend to. Gonna sleep. Enjoy your sleep. Atomic Spoonie. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Let's go, Robin. Robin's gotta delete some buildings for me. It's time. Kaboom! You can put the animal produce chest next to the coops. Oh, those need to move. I see. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome in. Yeah, we'll have room for them. They're not, like, super efficient anyways. Boom! I have to get rid of all these crops regardless. Boom! Yeah, wizard can do it too. Robin's not stinky. Well, she didn't give me the tea set, so maybe like 10% stinky. Alright, I guess I'm conceding to using Ginger Island to farm whatever 1.6 crops there are. Which, honestly, that's pretty fair to begin with. that fiber counter go up. I think my record is 13,000 fiber from a harvest. That was back before uh, I had all these fish ponds though. This is good. The farm is changing. The planet's heating up. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I like the triple. Use axe. The axe doesn't destroy all of it. I should have checked how many that had. See? Oh, it only takes two, though. Interesting. <laughs> Dude, what are the rules with these freaking tools, man? Can leave the paths? Well, then it's just two regard. It's two regardless, then. <laughs> I like how the axe takes the path and the pressure nozzle. I want to keep my pads. Obviously. <laughs> I say, like, it's completely normal. There's no room. We actually ran out of room here, which is a little ridiculous. One ninety pressure nozzles. Very cool. I think that was the last one. Did we get all of the, uh, Oh, we didn't get this guy. I wonder how many you have. Only 131. Yeah. <laughs> it's only... It doesn't have a lot, so... There's not really a good reason to keep it. Uh, now we have room to maneuver, though. So we could actually move some stuff around. But it's actually... Which chests? Oh, the ones down there? Yeah, thank you. Let me do that first. 
I'm gonna have to go eat dinner in a second here. So we're gonna go back to the crane game. But we can get rid of you. Uh, is there a place I can move these by pushing on them? At the very least, I can meld these together. Well, can I shove them to the bottom? Is that a safe place for them? Here, okay. That is one over from the lake and two up from the bottom. Okay. Have we been getting more plants? Uh, yes, we did. It was very obvious we did. I need an open hand, right? I had no idea you could do that as well. That's actually really funny. <laughs> uh, you're the expert, aren't you, Piano? <laughs> the double. The double is so funny. Okay. <laughs> Those are safe now. Uh, Alright. I kind of don't want to do this at night either. Like, left click sees how the burr works. Didn't really kill my energy all that much. Do we figure out the night market plans? Uh, no. As far as I know, there's no way to do it. I'm not sure what mermaid, what happened to mermaids that caused it. But I did everything I was supposed to and nothing happened. Ah, I see. You can just hold it on the other version. That makes a lot more sense. Get rid of this nasty golden scythe. Mix seeds go here. Wait, is the theater closed? The theater might be closed. I feel like I should know this. Fences at the night market, 9 p.m. I can make it. Who goes to see a movie at 9 p.m.? Oh, wait, normal people. <laughs> Jess! Happy birthday, Jess! Everyone shout out at Jess and say happy birthday really loudly. How loud as you can. It was Jess's birthday yesterday, and they're also super awesome. Jess is such a good friend of mine, is incredibly wonderful and nice and helpful and super awesome and is very much deserving of at least your follow, but probably also a birthday shout. I deleted the folder of your stuff. I had to make room on my desktop, okay? It wasn't important stuff anymore. Probably. It was empty. <laughs> There was a folder on my desktop that said, uh, Jess's, or, stuff from Jess. <laughs> and I deleted it. I, I assume, no, it wasn't your sound clips. This was from a long time ago. It was, like, stuff you sent me. I can't remember. Yes, Jess was doing tech stuff at GDQ. I saw you in the background a few times, Jess. You looked fabulous. Come on, stop. Ah, the thing is stuck. Hold up. I love these new headphones, but this cord gets everywhere. Oh, it was the stuff for the Excel sheet? I must have moved it somewhere else. It was just an empty folder when I was using it. Okay. Want to try script two? Oh, just to test it out. Um, I'm going to run to dinner really quick, so I'd rather just have the other one going, I think. So let me, is it open? No, let me open it up. So I know this one's not gonna break on me. Plus yeah, it's still spring, so we want to. Uh... I told you about that, Jess, didn't I? Ava, welcome in as well. Can we get a shout out for Ava as well? Ava's a super awesome person uh, and is been doing the editing for my videos lately and also is a really cool streamer so you should definitely follow eva no you didn't i swear i did huh maybe i said it to someone else and i thought it was you 
Oh, boo. It happens. All right, everyone. I am going to run really quickly here. Um, but I will be back in about 15 minutes. I need to go eat food. It smells delicious. So let me go ahead and start a prediction first of all. Uh, I think we got to go kind of high on this. We did five last time. We got six. I'm going to go for... Let's go for broke. We're going to do 10. So... If you think we're going to get more than 10 houseplants, vote on that. What are you having? A uh, steak. <laughs> it's going to be really good. All right, 10 houseplants, more or less. I think this might be too low still, but I'm not sure. But I'll let you guys decide for that or not. All right, I'm going to run some ads while I'm gone, but I will see you when I get back. Have a lovely break, everyone. I'll be back as soon as I can. BRB.
I broke the loop midway through. I just, I guess it did, didn't decide to do the last one there. I'm back, by the way. I don't know why it shouldn't break the loop until after it's done, though, right? I just pressed F6. Oh, you know what? I pressed F6 twice. <laughs> I pressed F6 twice. That's what happened. It restarted the script. All right, well, I'll let this one run. Unfortunately, um, even with this one, I don't think the believers got it. It's because I pressed F6 twice. That's on me. I'll press it once now. So now it will end after the loop. Unbelievers, shun the non-believers, shun. Yeah, it looked like it was a very unlucky streak. We got the same amount that we did last time. I love the face in the background, by the way. The sun's face is so funny here. <laughs> Where it, like, makes expressions when you get it. And when it's, like, about to fall. What? I, I pressed F6. This script is so broken. Who made this crap? Need a sun emote. Pretty solid emote, honestly. We already have a sun here. We have sun at home. How are you doing today, Jess? We got... <laughs> we got five plush buddies. These should be half as likely to spawn as these, I think. We got five of them. All right, let's do some math here. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-four, forty-five. Uh -huh. So, 45 in total. We actually got half as many as we did on the last one. Oh, my face. Sorry. You don't deserve it. <laughs> and we got six. Literally half as likely. <laughs> All right. Spring again. That's the second. The sun is here. Glad to see you're still here, Jess. Are you on your trip home, by the way? I know you're leaving soon. Or at least, I thought, is today your last shift? Is that what I'm remembering? Woo! Plush bunnies keeping up. Give me my points. Run ad break, sure. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Less than 10. Good guess, fellas. Ah, uh, you had to come home early? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jess. I hope everything's okay. I saw you saying it was the last day. I thought that was planned. I'm sorry you had to leave early. That sucks. Uh, I think we're gonna do the moving tomorrow. Actually. Yeah. I'd like to do it in the light time. In the light time. Oh, you got it, cat? You got it? Flew home at 6 a.m. Okay, I see. So you did have to leave a little early. That's unfortunate. Well, I hope whatever you had to fly home for is resolved. Nice and peacefully. Let's grab all this out of here. fits barely I'm gonna do a whole nother row of stone up here <laughs> but where will I get the stone for all those stone chests you might ask well conveniently a 
Also, welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a lovely break. We're gonna start moving stuff in a minute here. I'm gonna have to pull up the diagram, the diaphragm. Also, OBS does this awesome thing that, like, slobs doesn't do. Maybe slobs can make it work. I don't know how to use it, but when I open up the window, it, like, automatically opens it up here. Like, I don't need to switch it on and off. How close are you, cat? I don't know why I did that. I, I would have just deleted it by moving it without all that hassle. Uh, the shed can still stay up there, right? You know, I probably should have checked. I'm not ready to shed the shed yet. Yeah, okay. Shed has does not move. None of this moves. That's good. So, greenhouse goes here. Hey, Elemental P. Yes, fish row indeed. I like how you switch them up. Oh, you're not leaving space in between them. I just might put the other coop over here. As bad as that's going to look. And then I can't move diagonally, though. I guess I really don't need to access the coops. That's what Piano said. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think it through. I don't need to access the coops. But I can't get into the greenhouse. It would just have to out of bounds it with the horse, right? But you can't get the horse over there. I have to learn the out of bounds. There's a way to do it, I'm sure. It's, uh, oh, actually, is there space down there? All right. I just don't know how to do it. That's why I'm worried, but I'll trust you on that. I'm sure it's not that bad. Put doors at the bottom. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, that's much easier then. I didn't understand that that was what it was. Got it. That makes more sense. You can get into the door from the corner. And then you exit. Yep. I thought it was a different one. Yeah, I've seen you do that one too. Alright, we're gonna wait to move the pawns until this hits. Although it shouldn't matter too much. Maybe we'll start moving them today. These are so close, it's kind of funny. Rest in pieces. All right, let's go see Robin. Robin's our friend. Stinky Robin, as Piano has said, will help us move these barns and coops and stuff. All right, let's get all organized and stuff here. Oh, you can also just get into the greenhouse, yeah. <laughs> Imagine this, but uh, Mermaid was right. Oh, we only have one barn. <laughs> didn't, didn't consider that. Um... <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh, can you fit in there? I think you can actually just walk in there. That area at the bottom. <laughs> Look at that, that looks like. <laughs> I love the rooms together there, it's kind of funny. All right, uh, that should be fine then. I kind of forgot that I'm gonna have to get rid of all these. Oh, I need lightning rods. Don't I? We'll find some room for them. This has to go like down here, right? Let me check the actual sheet here. Lined up with the... Uh... Whoop, that's not how you do that. Oh, it goes here. Yeah, I can't do that. 
Why does it light that up? <laughs> Alright, well. That's annoying. <laughs> Alright, that's fine there for the moment. Horsey! Alright, we are gonna have to clean all this up, huh? Hit E. That's fine. Uh, we gotta clean a bunch of stuff up anyways, so. Too late. Oh, because I placed it down. I see. I didn't know that was an option. That's really cool. Uh-oh. Uh, let me go ahead and check here along the bottom. Oh, there's plenty of room down here. Actually, I kind of don't need to get rid of that many lightning rods. And in fact, I don't have to get rid of any. Until I need to make a path through here. So I can just, like, leave them for now. I do need to move the clock and these the uh, shipping bin, though. That's something to remember to do. Oh, I can put the shipping bin back here, probably. <laughs> Didn't even consider that. Whoops. Uh, oh yeah, we couldn't get by there. All right, that should be fine for now then. Oh, maybe I should. Dang it. It's too powerful. There we go. Hey, running colors, welcome in. I just realized you have to get the voice pendant in your water mining list. Yes, I will have to divorce Leah for that. I also apologize for whatever the heck I just said. That that, that wasn't <laughs> the words that you said. <laughs> yes, I, I do have to get that by divorcing Leah at some point. Doofus. What are you calling doofus, doofus? Um... What are you talking about? I was showing... My farm was there the whole time. I was just really zoomed out, so you couldn't see me. <laughs> it was already done and everything. Who you gonna do this? You deserved, fair, enlightened. Grandmother End Table. What a beautiful name. Oh, right, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gaslighting you, chat. You're fine. I, I made a dummy. I made an oopsie. Uh, having said that, though, despite what I said moments ago, I think I can just move the pawns now. Yeah. Yeah, I can just do that. Let's go do it. Hey, Frashter, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. You're about to see a farm redesign. Statues! Dang it! I knew there was a thing. Thank you. All the statues need to go, huh? Every statue must go! The ones close to the end there probably don't have to. I also might need to move that Junimo chest. That'd be really annoying if that was the case, though. So I kind of hope we don't. You can't... Can you shove Junimo chests? What are we prepping for? A little bit. Oh, you can shove them? Oh, cool. I actually wasn't sure about that. Alright, um... Probably don't delete those. For now, I'm gonna move this here, just so I don't lose it. And, uh... Just that should be fine there for the moment. Let me double check on here. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room there. I could actually just leave the Junimo chest there. I just want it out of the way for when I put the pawns down. Okay. And we also need to move this out of the way, but that's easy enough. Okay. I think we're ready to uh, 
Move some stuff around at Robin's. Yeah, there's plenty of room for the shipping bin. I was mostly joking when I mentioned it earlier being a problem. <laughs> uh, to answer your question, Frasher, we are arranging our fish ponds in such a way that they are very likely to give us nice stuff. Well, they're very likely to have exactly the same thing every time. I guess um, for the moment, you said by the shed. Can they go here? What? I did not know it could go there. Okay. Oh, I'm doofusing again, aren't I? That's okay. I don't know why I keep doing this, because I just need to close it to... There we go. Alright, let's see here. Four ponds here. Evenly spaced with the golden clock at the top. I really don't like that it changes it every time I move one. That's going to be a fun thing to figure out. That's right. Okay. Next row starts at the very bottom of the map, I think. Yeah, it does. So this gets moved down. That's in the right spot. We got to move some away now. This gets moved down. This gets moved down. This gets moved down. This gets moved down. This gets moved up. How? Wait. Oh, if I, I have to actually close it. Okay. If I alt tab, it doesn't work. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dang it. I got to get used to this. It's a little bit annoying. Okay. If we go back here, boom, 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 boom. And I got to do this to change back. All right, so first two rows are done. We're gonna have to go here now. I think it's gonna be like this. Let's check really quick. Yeah, it's gonna be just the two interacting here. This is actually gonna be right here. Okay. Uh, it affects all fish pond RNG. It just makes it so every diagonal will be aligned. So basically everything in this diagonal line will have the same RNG. Everything in this diagonal line will have the same RNG. All right, um, let's switch back for a second. Yeah, this needs to go all the way down, which means we need to make some room over here. Got to pull one of these. Oh, I did the thing again. Hold on. Got to get used to that. We're just going to make this a collective over here to make room. This has to go over one more still. So this is the first one we've really got to <laughs> move maneuver stuff for. Huh? Although that works fine. Uh, you know what, Sammy? You were probably right. But at the same time, then I'd be moving some out. I wouldn't have room to like move these out. So I don't think so, actually. Okay, hold on one second. I have to see where these line up. It's going to be sharing two there. That makes sense. So here? Yeah. And then one apart here. All right. And we want all those to line up. Move everything over a little bit. Delete paths. We're having fun. Now this will give me enough room to line all of these up. 
Although we're going to have to move some of these over in a minute. Welcome in, by the way, Sammy. I hope you're having a good day so far today. Yeah, this one's going to have to move over. Just make room down here for now. I think I have room over here, so I think this is the top of that one. Let's take a look here. Yeah, that's this guy here. You can't see it because it's under the greenhouse, but there's one right here. And this next one starts just one down from the cave here. And one over from the cave. Whoops. Every time. It's gonna get a little tight up here. Right there? Yep. All right, we gotta take out like this whole row here. Whoop. All right, let's, let's tuck these as neatly as we can here for the moment. Will the RNG stay the same for the old file? The RNG is going to change, but there's something called legacy RNG. Oh, it will change over for legacy RNG, but there's a way to change it back. That was promised to me. There's a lot of motion here. Oh, I keep opening up the news panel. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> All right, this should be fine now. I hear you need more people for your partner. <laughs> yeah, we're doing fine. Hi, Elena, welcome in. Hope you're doing good today. I don't want a partner push, because it's not like I dislike the idea of it strongly or anything. It's just, I don't know. It feels weird to me. I understand like why you do it and everything, but. But I'm doing fine right now. Welcome in, Elena. And Natty the Baddie, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. And Lee Chat, I don't think if you can you can hear me, but thank you so much for the shout out. <laughs> I imagine you're streaming right now. Uh oh, does this fit here? Those are off. Okay, let me go ahead and check. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Oh, I see why they're off. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, that is... Gaines, thank you so much for the subscription. Wait. Subscribe for six months? At tier one? Thank you for so much for the six months in advance. Oh, that's so awesome. Welcome to the stack for the next six months. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad-free viewing. Right now, we're trying to do some... Uh, some rearranging here. I think this is right now. Yeah, that should be it. There we go. Can we fit another one down here? No, we cannot. Okay. King Algo. Squid, welcome in. Can we get a shout out for Squid Alicia? Squid Alicia is a wonderful streamer here on Twitch. If you're not following, you absolutely should be. All right, we're running a little low on space here, but we'll make it work. Do people call you Ryan? Uh, yeah, it's my name, so it feels reasonable for people to call me that. I think most people call me Algo, but if you wanna call me Ryan, you can do that too. I don't mind. That doesn't fit, perfect. Uh, all right, so this one's gonna go right here. That seems right to me. <laughs> on stream, yes. <laughs> Even on stream, some people call me Ryan. Lee Chat does sometimes. You raided Ryan Ratboy, a.k.a. RCJ, the other day. I'm also a teacher who loves Stardew. Oh, thank you so much. That's awesome. What do you teach, if I could ask? And also, how do you pronounce your name so I don't mess it up again? Hey, Kiyun, welcome in. Yes, we are changing the farm layout. It's a big day for the farm. 
I'm just gonna move this over here for a minute. Ooh, that probably shouldn't have been that far over. That's okay. Big farm day. Okay, yeah, so that doesn't fit right now, but it will eventually. I'll just cut that out. Cut the video. Hey, Petunia, welcome in. Yes, there is an RNG placement pattern here. Ancient world history. Amy. Amy is your government name. Okay, let me uh, let me write Amy next to your name so I don't forget. Amy is perfect. All right, uh, and now... We want to do this one next. Oh, this guy's in the way now. Um, for now, we can move it in a minute. Did we have it here? No, that doesn't work either. Okay, we gotta open it back up again. I thought I could do it. Okay. Oh. Oh, that makes so much sense. I'm dumb here wait <laughs> you can't put it there oh that's unfortunate all right well um for now we'll just put this right here because there is room here i don't want to keep it there but for now i can keep it teaching ancient history definitely explains the name welcome in by the way petunia amy uh kiyun electricity squid alicia ocean you guys are all awesome welcome in my government name is Squid. <laughs> Welcome in Electricity as well. I'm sorry I missed you until now. No you. No you first. I said it first. You're not allowed to say it back yet. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Wunderbar. There's a dog here. There you go. Oh, I can't fit it here yet. You're kidding me, right? Hey, get over there. That's, I don't want you there either. No! Uh, actually, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, right here should be good. And then, how do we fit the rest of this? There, there. Once you get the pattern, it's not too bad. I don't even need the sheet now. Kind of conveniently. Beautiful. And if I want to, I can move this aside to uh, get another pond in here. But that's the 73 I have so far. Why don't I just, for now, can throw this here. Hmm. I don't like that there, though, because it's so blocking. Hmm. It looks great. I agree. I just want this in a slightly better... Oh. Oh, no. It still won't fit. Dang. This kind of blocks too, though. TC is going to be awkward, but you have flute. What does TC mean? This fits here. I don't think I want it there, though. Why does it have to not match up? Ah, traveling cart. Yeah. Eventually, first of all, eventually I'm not going to have this anymore, but eventually I was just going to put the thing down here so I can quickly teleport down here. The, um, whatchamacallit here. Mini obelisk. There we go. I found the name. All right. And hey, Breezy, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And KT Cat, welcome in as well. Feeling out your name is Ryan feels like when my high school social studies teacher told me I could probably call her Monique. Now, considering I'm now older than she was when she taught me. <laughs> It's in my bio. Hey, Cozy Butts, welcome in. Unsure if I spoke here before? I almost have 3K channel points, so I thought I'd say hi. Welcome in, Cozy Butts. It says you're a first time chatter, so I don't think you have. So, welcome in. Uh, remove paths for Owly. Oh, yeah, we can have owl statues now. I want the pathing because it makes me move faster, though. Oh, gosh. That's a. <laughs> Earthquake. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. You can do that. I've never heard of that before. My mouse is on the left side, and I'm using, pressing right, by the way, if anyone's wondering why it's doing that. 
Um, stable by the stone chest and barn up here, but then it blocks the chests. I want to be able to see those chests like immediately. So I think down here for now is fine. It's annoying I can't fully see this, but I can still see the number there at least. Actually, this one might be slightly better. I just don't like how it looks because it's not very aesthetic. But we have to forego aesthetics a little bit here, I feel like. The .1 speed buff. But it feels good, Elena. <laughs> it's about feelings, not, not, not that. The point is that it feels good. Alright, um, I think we've done it. Let me just do a quick check really quickly here. Traveling car, yeah. So here's the thing. We haven't exactly done a good job of, um... Yeah, I didn't really arrange the fish. What's at the top of the farm? Almost by the shed. Mini, sh I mean, the shipping bin. Mini obelisk. Iridium crobus? I don't know which one you're referring to. Would getting rid of the silo also be able to fit the stable? I don't want to get rid of the silo. I need these silos. Path every other time. <laughs> I would get such big whiplash. Oh, I see. Uh, this block's uh, going above right here. This could fit here. This blocks. I tried it over here, but it blocks this spot here. I want to be able to walk through. I think we're good, though. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Um, technically speaking, like, the fish aren't quite in the right spot. But I'm going to be replacing them soon anyways. Arranged by fish now? Oh, gosh. It's like the freaking mastermind game. I could do it. <laughs> I probably should. You're right. Uh, the pathing does not stay put, running colors. It deletes the pathing. I just... It wasn't worth it to me to save it. Because it's just, like, wooden stone. It's not exactly crazy or anything. <laughs> I'm 25 and I act like a grandmother when I go downtown. <laughs> I love that. Alright, we're gonna fix it. You're right. I should move it now. Okay, I want all the same thing on the diagonal. Which I have managed to do exactly zero times. Um... <laughs> Hold on. This one's good. This one's good here. Oh, no, because it connects to this one. Here we go. These two are good. <laughs> Wait, these are different, too. I didn't even notice when I said that. Uh, yeah, I've managed to do this exactly zero times, which, frankly, I think is actually impressive. <laughs> All right. We're going to start up here. Dude, I keep trying to go to the corner in my... This is my fault for having windowed mode. Um... <laughs> Okay. Uh, how many down is it, piano? Because I know it repeats. So how often do I want to have the different ones? Okay, that's all that now. Just clump them. I don't know what you mean by that. So I want all stingrays at the top. So now this one will should also be a stingray. Keep one open up there. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> if only I was that smart. I teach uh, high school physics, 11th and 12th graders, the old ones. I actually think I might be too low on this. That's okay. 
Switching it makes it a little easier. You're a teacher? Yes, I am. Happy boat. Yeah, this one should also be... Stingray. Actually, we're just about out, aren't we? That's okay. Man, lots of concentration in this. I'll be honest with you. This is slightly beyond my normal level of min-maxing. Hey, Drew Hogan. We are rearranging our fish ponds to be more um, RNG compliant. You teach middle school right now? Middle schools were fun. I only did it for my student teaching, but I was actually surprised how much I liked it. I thought I was going to hate it. And uh, I thought I actually had a pretty good time. Is that it? I think that's all of them. Oh, there'll be some over here still. Yeah. Actually, this is exactly the last one. That's crazy. <laughs> we got exactly enough. There we go. Uh, all right. Did you choose physics? Yes, I have a, a BS in physics. That was my undergraduate degree, and I decided to go into teaching. Originally, I was going to do research, and yeah, that, that wasn't my favorite thing once I started it. <laughs> and I found out I really love teaching. RNG compliant, like OSHA for Stardew? Yes. Uh, what I am thinking of, what we're trying to do here is basically these rows here will all have the same pattern. So if this gets row, this one will get 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 row, as long as they're the same fish. So that's why we're rearranging now to get the same fish for all of them. Uh-huh. Oh, crap. We need to uh, take this one down first. Start here. <laughs> I swear that was an urchin pond. Blade, welcome in. It is happening. Lots and lots of motion here. All right. Uh, all of these are urchins here. Yep. So now we just got to move these. If you all don't know Blade, by the way, Blade is an incredible Stardew Valley streamer slash content creator. Uh, if you want to see the craziest things you could ever imagine in Stardew Valley, you should absolutely be following Blade on both his YouTube channel and his Twitch channel. Alright, we're doing this one next. Luckily, this one's not too bad. We can just do this. Do, do this one here. Where's the rest of them? Is that it? Oh, it goes all the way out. Uh, I think that's all of them. We would just need to swap this guy in here. And unfortunately, the urchin pond doesn't fully reach, but it's pretty decent. You need a master's? You need a master's to teach um, college. One misplace above pond. Oh, it's perfect. Good call. Okay, anything else that I messed up? They're all ponds. <laughs> I, I knew immediately what piano meant somehow, Blade. <laughs> uh, right now, we're going to be switching over to crab pot fish, Blade. That's the idea. Uh, the only row we still need is the... Uh, sea urchin row and we only need a hundred more so basically i decided to rearrange while piano's here so if i mess up <laughs> piano can yell at me uh but i think we're all good here uh 
uh, mud clay strap with the fish pond. Actually, it's very similar, Happy Bow. You're pretty much dead on with that. It has the same kind of pattern, although the pattern is slightly different. It's got the same idea. Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, I'm gonna need to uh, stretch a little bit here. Hey, Mass Rock, welcome in. How's the run going? How far in are we? We've been doing a lot. Uh, 1.6 is threatening to um, <laughs> uh, add a lot of items, so we'll see how much that is. But as far as like items so far, we're almost done with fish entirely. We're switching up our fishing strategy to get row quicker now. It's actually literally happy then box. Oh, happy box. I'm so sorry. It's happy bow times six, obviously. Pronounced XD. All right, I think we're good on that then. You know what? If you stick around for a while, happy box, you'll know I can't read, so. <laughs> it feels like that sometimes at least. We'll keep you. You're not gonna grow anymore though, which is a little sad. What's the matter, piano? Nice. Okay, we want that there. And we need this clear as well. And here, everything else is good. Sorry, okay. <laughs> you scare me sometimes, piano. I trust you. Okay. And we can also, we can actually put these back. Those don't need to be cleared out. My dyslexic guys can't read either. I think I have some minor amount of dyslexia. It's not enough to be like negatively impacted enough to be diagnosed, but there's definitely a lot of times where I'll read words and like misinterpret the order of letters or numbers. It happens regularly enough to, for me to think that it's a real thing. Give the scarecrow a bit of crops to watch over. I don't know what I could fit there. The poor dog is so confused. <laughs> I guess I could like throw like a few here. <laughs> the dog's AI has no idea how to deal with this. It's actually kind of really funny. All right, uh, I have to clean this up. This is gonna bother me for the rest of my life if I don't. So we are going to put a whole lot of weathered floor down here, I think. Do not chip things. I think we're going to throw that there. And then we can move this over slightly. All right. Gosh darn hate this game. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Honorary Ancient Seed each spring. That's a lot to remember. <laughs> but fair. That's actually probably a good idea. This is what bothers me. I need to do this for all of them. And I'm not going to rest until it's done, I don't think. It never defaults to the blank one, and I don't know why. <laughs> the blank one is by far the best looking one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to Stingrays eventually, Blade. I am getting a lot of Dragon Seeds from them, but I think we're in the, um, I mean, we will do Dragon Seeds. We're gonna have to, which makes me kind of, I don't know if I want to remove them because of that partially. There it is. Okay. Zero, zero for all of them. Everything going Sea Urchin? No. Sea Urchin will be done really soon. Sea Urchins will be emptied like... I gotta get used to this, by the way. It's not too bad, actually. Like, I need 90 more Sea Urchin row, and then we're done. <laughs> Everything's going Muscles, probably. 
Maybe I'll leave the stingrays then and just turn everything else into muscle ponds. The new ponds are all set up, mermaid. All right, weathered floor time. Look, I'm not much for beautification, but I don't think I can let this stand. Coral and Nautilus shells. Uh, Coral doesn't have any row, and Nautilus shells can't be put in the ponds. There's a lot of weird things with fish ponds. Like, clams can't go on there either, despite, like, I don't know why. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they're not any different than anything else. It's very annoying to me that you cannot just cover this up. Oh, from the mussel ponds? I don't need those. I have Nautilus shells. Nautilus shells and coral are all done. Unless you know something I don't. The mussel ponds are from Mussel Row. <laughs> and mus Age Mussel Row. All the crab pot fish ponds have a 10% chance of giving row, which is so low, which is why I'm doing exactly this. Oh, let's do this. There we go. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no good way to do it. What is the goal of this? Like, the whole challenge? We're trying to get 999 of every stackable item in the game. So, for instance, the row and aged row is kind of what we're working on right now. If you're talking about the pathing, the pathing speeds you up slightly. And it looks nicer. No offense to the soil in this game, but it's not exactly, like, appealing to the eye. Although, I don't know how much better this is. I liked it better when all the fish ponds were lined up neatly. <laughs> but some sacrifices must be made for the RNG gods. Wait, <laughs> I've decided I hate my dog. <laughs> How dare you get in my way? Oh my gosh. I'm starting to remember the numbers. So this one's three. Good. One at the bottom is actually fine. We'll have to properly clean this up later. Oh, when I go to collect them? You know what? That's too smart for me, honestly. I should also do this when I go to collect them, too. Yeah, you're right. Alright. <laughs> Let's just sleep and reap our rewards. And make sure it works, I guess. That might be a smart thing to do, too. Oh, we're not going to go in the mushroom cave anymore, are we? Should probably just, like, take my statues out, too. Mermaid, please. Not even close to true. You have, like, five at best. should probably keep going mushroom because morel juice ah true 
What is the change appearance thing? It changes the appearance of the farm. Like, they get wood and netting on it, but I don't like how the wood and netting looks. So I just am removing it, Anna. Welcome in, by the way, Anna J. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, give me a coffee. It's morning time. No, yeah, nothing with the RNG. So, look, all of the Stingrays have row, <laughs> which is really unfortunate, but actually not, because I don't have to collect those. Think about it this way. I don't need any more Stingray row, so I can just ignore those now. So this is the time save for me. Now I only have to collect from this row here. This should just be one. This one's two. This one's three. This one's one. Two, one, two, one, three, three, one, three, two, two, one. Whew. Yep, piano, it looks like it works perfectly. <laughs> the seaweed at the bottom, please. Okay. That saves like an insane amount of time. I just hope the pattern doesn't switch up in Legacy RNG. Actually, what if I got it all done before that came out? Wouldn't that be fabulous? Do you have other socials to follow? I do have a YouTube channel, Amy, as well as a Twitter. I don't really post much to Twitter though. Uh, and a VODs channel as well. Exclamation mark YouTube. It is the same as it is in the alpha. Okay. I actually have not checked that in the alpha, so. <laughs> checked this specifically, at least. How many years in Stardew have passed? We're on year 49 right now. By tomorrow not tomorrow sorry i forgot it's thursday by uh saturday we should be finishing up the year it might be a very long stream but we'll get to year 50 hopefully on saturday irl saturday i should say just so it's not confusing i'm just gonna fill this in it's... i don't think it's great to fill this in but i'm just gonna fill this in Yeah, so I can't get to these other ones, unfortunately. Oh, actually, I can. <laughs> you just, like, ladder on down. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I love that. Okay. How many hours do you have in the save? Uh, over 3,000. The exact amount, I'm not sure about, but I know it's over 3,000. Uh, the file doesn't tell the truth. I think we kind of got unlucky with that one, by the way. <laughs> I'll look you up. If you just do exclamation mark YouTube in chat, it should come right up. Oh, I'm going too far down. There it is. Thank you, mermaid. I almost said thank you, Nightbot. Like, Nightbot had any agency in the matter. Okay, that was the whole day, by the way. <laughs> I can just go to sleep now. And that was with, like, doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, Discord as well. That's right. We have a new video that just came out. I forgot. I totally forgot about Discord. I just, I don't think social media when I hear Discord. But yeah, we do have a Discord. It's very cool. You should check that out. Lots of technical Minecraft talking in there. Pancakes! All right, this seems pretty reasonable, actually, to do it like this. <laughs> I 
Look at the, uh, the seaweed. My goodness. No row, though, right? I can't see down here all yet. So unfortunately, you can't see all the way down there. You have one you just joined. Awesome. All right. Traveling cart time. You really can't summon the horse there. Interesting. Actually, I wonder. It might be faster to uh, travel to the beach and horse from there. Yeah, Dragon Tooth Day is going to look so pretty. That is literally not the coconut I was trying to buy. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm thinking for going to the traveling cart. I think it's slower than if I had the path for the horse down here. But I think without that path, this is faster. First of all, though, I'm going to grab these muscles because I want iridium quality ones. <laughs> But then just taking this out, I think, would be better. Hey, Ambrose. Thank you for the coconuts. Coconuts. Oh, coconuts. 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 It's not playing. Coconuts. 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 Yeah, Dragon Tooth Day and Cinder Shard Day. They're both going to feel so good. Okay. That feels good, too, honestly. Put one at the bottom of the farm, but then I can't get to my chests over there quickly. Just need a little time to kick in, which I want to be able to do and get to here. Although this is kind of useless now, huh? It won't be in a while, I guess. <laughs> but it puts the hay in and everything. I don't know. I like it for now, but that's a good point. Mermaid, I'll think about that for the future. Frashter, thank you for summoning sneakers. Okay. I'm getting used to this new format, but this is going to go so much quicker. Now, there's one other thing we need to do, but I might wait till next stream to do it. We have to put down these endless fortune statues and probably rework the entirety of that area over there. Um, I kind of don't know where to put these for now. Okay, chat. Uh, actually, the better place to put them would be right here. I think. <laughs> It's kind of a weird place, but I'll remember that they're there. More than the required space. I want to open up the spring onion area, mermaid. I want to make sure that you can get to the spring onions. So I'm just going to... Also, yes, I want to increase the amount of vertical lines as well. Because <laughs> that's a smart way to do it for sure. Uh, I'm just making sure. Yes, I think I've done everything for today so far. We're about to get hit maximum factory farm levels. Oh, Leah can just give me all the morels I need. It means no morels for the rest of my days. It's a problem free. <laughs> Triple battery day. <laughs> Ever wanted some batteries? <laughs> Who needs a thunderstorm? Ah, uh, no, mermaid. Probably not. <laughs> Dink donk mushroom cave? I should. But also, should I? While I'm walking this way, by the way. I do want this cleaned up. It is probably the fastest source of morels, you're right. I'll think about it. Right now, I want to focus on this stuff, though. It's tough to get there now. It's not on my normal path. Hmm. Read, I don't want to. You you have read correctly. Congratulations, you won. Speaking of things that I have to do now. That's exactly 999 muscle row. So it's time to bring this to the grinders. Gosh, that urchin row is going to be done soon, too. There's two more row I missed at the bottom? Oh man. How blind am I? I thought that was something different. 
I swear I saw beach totems down there. It's the same RNG line. Oh, it is? Alright, we'll put this in here for now. Although Muscle Row is going to go up one. Oh, <laughs> this way is certainly faster. Are you sure? Oh, over there! Four lines of batteries, I know. It's insane. I walked right by these, didn't I? I like literally walked by these to get over here. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I didn't even like look at them for a second. I can replace all of these with uh, lightning rods. I don't think it'll matter that much, but it'll look a little nicer. This one, I think. Probably do the same thing on this side, too. Just a good outline. One more. A big sleep prep farm. Yeah. Yes, but actually no. <laughs> Alright, let's clean up our inventory here. This is, my brain melts down when there's new things in it. <laughs> I'll get used to this pretty quick, but I should take these out, by the way. I don't need any more. Uh, I might soon, actually. I'm replacing the sea urchins with it. That's why it's there. So as soon as the sea urchins are done. Do all crab pot fish have the same quests? I think they do. That'll make things a lot easier. I only have to worry about preparing those things. Not forget my Monday chores though. Did this. I gotta check something really quick. Alright. Come here. Tail, 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 tail. Yay! Only 700 and something more to go. That might end up being more annoying than I first predicted it would be. My thought process was I would get a bunch while I was fishing for the spines, but I have more spines than tails already, and I haven't done that much spinal fishing, so <laughs> I kind of don't know <laughs> what the plan is on that. I think I'm just going to have to uh, just, like, sit at that area for a while. Just camp it, yeah. That's what I'm thinking at this point. Coconuts, coconuts. On days I know I have a tail. Oh, that's a good point. I forgot that I could know that ahead of time. Well, not ahead of time, but on the day of, I can know. All right, let's check for our quest. Probably track it with a spreadsheet. I probably could. We'll, we'll get, when we get to that point, we'll jump off that bridge. We'll see where we're at. There might be more annoying things than that to worry about.
Sandy. Yeah, that's true as well. I love it when the coconut spawns there. It looks so funny. I actually do not need to open those anymore. Okay, we have situated the situation. Our farm looks like absolute garbage, but you know what? It's functional. I'm gonna miss beautiful, beautiful rows and rows of rows, rows, but you know what? We're getting stacks. And that's what's important right now. Wouldn't be that different than the monster one? Okay. We have 31 million right now. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty row right there. Look at that gorgeous thing. Oh no! The rest of them were sea urchin. That's unfortunate. Fun fact though. I thought it was all gonna be these. I mean, it will be eventually. I still need these, don't I? <laughs> I forgot I wasn't done with this yet. I think what that's implying, though, by those being there, it's kind of showing that um, the row is going to be grabbed in the same way as other row. So if there's a row in one of the rows, it's going to be in all of the rows. As long as it's in the same row, I should say. <laughs> So that means I can overlap crab pot fish. Yeah, they basically have identical drops, so it should end up in the same spot. I kind of want to finish mussels first and then switch to something else after because mussels are closer to being done, right? So here's the thing I'm curious about. These two at the very bottom here, I kind of don't want them to exist. <laughs> they're nice to have, but they're so far out of the way that like, I almost never see them. I'd have to go out of my way to look at them. I don't know. I guess they're still nice to have there. So I could do all freshwater at the same time. In fact, I might do that after mussels. Do all three freshwater at the same time. There's still the same amount of ponds, so it'd be 24 of each. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this, like, <laughs> efficiently at this point. Because I haven't messed with it as well. Move chests right. What? Piano, you're so cryptic. Yeah, that's true. When big chests happen, I can probably do that. Oh, those are on different RNG calls. Interesting. Then you have room to move the bottom ponds up. Oh, I see what you're saying. And connect them to that other RNG there. take a look over there which RNG lines are not visible from the farm door probably anything below here even that one's not but I can walk down that far that's not a problem yeah moving these up would not really affect all that much it also gets rid of the rare crow which I'm not doing the deluxe scarecrow which I'm not doing I could get one more up here but I think it's fine If I walk straight down, that's technically fine. Notably, I have a minute here. I have to wait for. 
so I can use this time to uh, put some more of these down. Compress them a little and not lose the diagonal walking. I'm pretty happy with this right now, but I will consider other things. Wow. Can't do math. This is a one, two, three. Very good. Oh, I gotta put these away still. Hey, Rain Bee, welcome in. Squeeze them higher up. I don't know how to do that, <laughs> based on what you're suggesting. How long did it take to move the ponds? Actually, not that long. It was pretty straightforward. As long as you have an open spot to move them to, it goes pretty quick. We gotta go dancing, though. It's dancing time. I got seven messages. I can only assume that they're from Piano. Oh, sort of. <laughs> oh, Leah, first of all. Glad to see you here. Leah, have I ever missed a festival? Actually, yes, I probably have. Oh, I didn't get the Junimo statue. I should do that after this festival so I don't forget. Ah, let's just sit here and enjoy. Enjoy the music. It's beautiful, isn't it? Very calm. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the dance. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> of how random yet hyper specific this game is. Yeah, I agree. Uh, if anyone didn't notice, by the way, I forgot to buy the rare crow <laughs> at the dance, making that entire dance pointless. I'm not going to reset the day though, because I don't want to. I'll pay for it later. Womp womp. We got the Junimo statue, though. Let's mark that on there. Oop. All right, and we sleep. Sleep is a lovely thing. It burns like a fiery ring. I'm missing one of my rare crows on my perfection save. Ah, that sucks. Those are bad to miss. That's something you need to, like, people should be warned about. Because that is, like, a whole year of waiting if you miss that. What festival are you, or which one are you missing? One of these days is going to be Dragon Tooth Day. That's going to be a heck of a day. The snowman one. Oh, you can get that in the traveling cart pretty commonly. I'm pretty sure we have finished <laughs> the Sea Urchin Row. That was a lot. I think those were both doubles. <laughs> like two each. Yeah. Uh, in fall and winter, you can get it. That's enough. We're done. Sea Urchins are done. Dang it, we 
need to uh, take the bottom one out. There we go. Iguana, welcome in. Yeah, it's fall winter in the cart, which is really nice. That's why I have like over a hundred instead of the twenty something I have for most of them. Gotta focus on the fishing. Oh, you got all the other crafting done? Usually crafting is one of the last things people get done. Interesting that you got that done almost first. Yeah, so you're not in a hurry to get there then. You're definitely gonna make it there. Yeah, you can also get it at uh, the festival too. D&D &D time. Have a good time, Iguana. Good luck to you. Kill some baddies for me. Unless you're the baddie, then kill the goodies. Oh. Huh. I guess I'm going to keep it here for now, just so I can, like, very easily just use this one. And I'll move it later. Bye! I didn't start the save with the idea of perfection. I decided in year three. Ah, okay. That makes more sense. We also might have just missed some, uh... Let's check down here. No row. Okay. I want to do another one to get it faster. Ooh, you're caught in the loop. World record's 20 hours. Good luck, by the way. <laughs> I got perfection for the first time. It took me over 100 hours on that farm. My casual one, and casual one I did recently was like... I think it was like 60 to 70 hours, but I also wasn't trying to go that fast. Like, I wasn't speedrunning. Probably closer to 70. I was going kind of quick, though. Oh, the anti-capitalist challenge? I think Stella was doing that one recently. It looks pretty fun. It's a lot of extra work, though. I think it's part of the fun, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, first-time perfection. That's actually really good for first-time perfection, which most people are upwards of, like, 150. Yeah, or even more, like Kiwi. You started it before perfection was a thing, too. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not, like, pushing for perfection, just playing through casually, perfection probably takes about 300 hours. Oh, <gasps> look at it! I forgot to empty the ponds, by the way. But we have our first dragon teeth. Dragon teeth, dragon teeth. Everybody loves dragon teeth. Dang it. Dragon teeth, dragon tails. What's the difference? Okay. Okay, I do need our... Oh, I don't need fish ponds. I'm sorry, I don't need the, uh... I don't need the sea urchins back, so it's totally fine to just do away with these guys. I'm just gonna make sure I don't mess up the muscle ponds. Emptying 24 ponds. It's good for my heart. Nine 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 of all plantable items. I'm trying to get it done before I have a baby in March. <laughs> now that is a ticking to clock right there. <laughs> Congratulations first off, KT Cat. And good luck to you. Let me know if you need any help or strategies or things. We got all these done. Yep, it's just these last four. Okay, and then we'll switch back over. I don't need you anymore. 
Uh, have you played Palea at all? I have not. It looks okay. I'm just not really into MMOs very much. I don't like the mechanics of, like, the daily quests and login bonuses and things like that. I missed. <laughs> Stop! I keep turning sideways too early. I did it again! There we go. Alright, and those will be ready tomorrow, I think, is how the math works. Maybe it's more than that many days. I think it grows every day, though. Oh, we do need to go uh, talk to a, a cart about a jelly. You didn't go to mines until year two? Yeah. Mines are really scary for people. Oh, Dovalin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Sorry, I got really distracted and I missed it. Love to extend games as long as possible. Me too. Me too. <laughs> it's a common problem for me. Hey, we got some juice. Good thing I checked today. Oh, we gotta rearrange this too. That might be for next stream. We will pick up these morels while we're here though. Okay. Morels are the only ones I don't have iridium quality mushrooms for. Plug this in here. Yep. And sleep. We're good now. Almost at the end of the month. Hey, it's Cinder Shard Day. Very cool. Wait, are these quests going to line up with each other? I didn't consider that, but if they're tile-based as well, they might all have the same quests. This music's so intense. Alright, let's find out. Oh my gosh, they totally are. Oh wait, no, it's all five. It's always five clay. I'm so dumb. Ignore me, please. <laughs> it's literally always five clay <laughs> for the first quest. They might be lined up, they might not. I guess we don't know now. Two for this one, three for this one, Two for this one. Oh, just one for that one. Sorry. Two for this one. Okay. That's all cleared up. Woo. They will either line up or not line up. Do you want to know the answer? Yeah, go ahead and tell me, Blade. Oh, there's Dragon Seath up here, too. I didn't even see that. That could have been embarrassing if I missed that. They will line up. Okay, that's actually really sweet. But only in the same row, so... Still nice, for sure. Alright, uh... We need clay. I think they're all clay for here. Yeah. Clay and muscles. This will be fun to figure out. Okay. My poor... I'm gonna get so exhausted here. I think it's easier to go through and do the quest first. I'm gonna be so happy when this is done with. To the angle. Hold on. <laughs> you can throw it so high from the top corner. What's, does the bottom corner do something similar? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I 
I guess the top is like that. It just looks further from the side. Blade coming in like the Monk of Wisdom. Absolutely true. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Oops. All right. That makes that easy. All right, another quest tomorrow, and another quest the day after. Which is good, because that means it'll be ready to go when we start upstream again. Oops, I forgot to put the clay away. Probably gonna end stream at the uh, start of the next day here. I'm sorry, yeah, the start of uh, fall. Summer. <laughs> the start of summer. You know what, Kiwi? It's not really clear. I think it could go either way. Naughty shells. Quartz on this one. Bug meat on this one. What's on this one? Quartz. Quartz. Bug meat. Okay. I still those. I think those are still the only two options. It's just <laughs> convenient. All right. Give me this. I should do like all stingray ponds to get like dragon's teeth done, but I think I want to get all of the other stuff done first, which probably means I should remove the stingrays for now. It'd be nice to just have only stingrays. But I want to get the row done first. At this point, I'm thinking I might be able to get all the row done, all the row and aged row done before 1.6 comes out, which I wasn't even considering that a while ago. But now that we're getting possibly kind of close to doing that, it's seeming more and more likely as something I can do. Uh, all right, here. We want to take the bug meat and the quartz. There's the bug meat. And there's the quartz. That should be enough. Muscles. Oh my gosh, I have to click 10 times for each of these. What? Oh, I didn't fill this one up! Oh, that's so annoying! I missed one! Oh, that's gonna be so annoying tomorrow. Hey, Shark Anna, welcome in. It's gonna throw off the whole thing. It's not that big of a deal. It won't be a big deal in a while. I might... You know what? I'm going to stream until all these quests are done. It's going to take like two more days, but I don't want to start myself with crap <laughs> next stream. I got to do half a year anyways. It's not like it's that big of a deal. Do a few days into spring or more than half a year. Oh, we also needed to do this, huh? So, two more days of stream. Yeah, that one's the full one. Oh, that's so annoying. I can't believe I missed one. It's not that big of a deal in the sense that, like, it's not going to affect anything. Ugh. It's fine. 
What year is it currently? It is year 49. Push in year 50. I'm gonna keep the muscles on me. Oh, not those. Uh-oh. Uh, that should be enough. Tally, welcome in. Here, let me give you a shout out, Tally. If you all don't know Tally, Tally is a wonderful streamer here on Twitch who also does my challenge occasionally. Well, I don't, I can't call it my challenge. The 999 challenge occasionally. And has three different files that you're working on, right? One is modded, one is multiplayer, and one is uh, vanilla single player. That's just so crazy to me. I'm glad you've been enjoying the challenge, Tally. If you all aren't watching Tally, you should be. Tally's a wonderful streamer. Oh, there's a cockle on the beach up here. Let's grab that. And then go check the traveling cart. Actually, coming to the beach is pretty good because it means that I will pass the... I will see the beach and I can grab stuff off the beach every day. Yes, I'm obsessed. Just a tad. You're a tally obsessed. <laughs> I am, I did say you're 49. We've been uh, we've been cranking them out. We just rearranged our farm today. It's looking pretty crazy. I keep dropping off the muscles. I still need those. Thank you. In fact, just give me all of that. Thank you. All right. Um, and that should be it for today. Let's take a little sleeper, a little snoozer. I have to be. 1.6 is on the horizon. I want my fishies done. I have I am now committed. We're gonna be doing a audit at the end of next year. And that's gonna have so much fish and fish row on it. Oh my goodness. The whole thing is gonna be fish and fish row. Fish and fish row. Not exactly how I meant to say it, but I'll take it. Get rid of that potato. Alright, this one is wild bait. This one is wild bait. Oh, I should grab these while I'm passing by. Here we are. This one is five quarts. Everything else, oh, this one's sea urchins. Dang it, I thought I had it. So wild bait, sea urchins, and five quarts. So let me just go ahead and grab five quarts here. Bunches of wild bait. And some sea urchins, and we should be good. Oh, put that away. Very good. All right. Let's finish this up. I just want to get rid of this. No more sea urchins are needed. All the jumping fishies. All right, we gotta play today and one more day after this. Because I want to get these quests all done before I stop stream. And have this ready to go. I messed up one fish pond, otherwise we could be done today. That one's not full yet. Okay, so we're just gonna need three muscles in total. The rest can just get put away. Actually remember to hold on to them we're gonna need more wild bait probably why do the fish ponds need that change like the uh what do you mean specifically like the way they're arranged uh see how all the batteries are in a row here basically they all share the same rng value so if this was a dragon's tooth all of these would be dragon's teeth if this was a row, which is what I want it to be, all of the ones in the diagonal row will also be row. So it stops me from having to collect from all of them. I only have to collect the single rows that actually have things I care about. It saves me a lot of time overall. 
and it actually has the same amount of fish ponds somehow <laughs> piano made that work i i didn't believe it but here we are just because of how the rng works in a pattern i'm taking advantage of that pattern How are you getting batteries? I'm all done with batteries now. Oh, you mean from the fish pond? Uh, stingrays can give batteries as one of their rewards. Certain, uh, especially the higher level fish, certain ones give special things. So the reason I even have the stingrays there is they can give dragon's teeth, which are very rare. Even from the ponds, but when I get them now, I get a whole row of them. Doesn't seem safe in a pond. Uh, stingrays can take it. They're like electrical lead something. Probably. I don't even think that's true. <laughs> Just making stuff up. Snake stall coming after me. Come on! Yay, we got a tail. Very good. Alright, moving on to the next section here. Oh, we do have a quest we have to complete. I almost forgot about it. But I still have a week to do it. And now it won't show up. Although it's one of the ones I'd want to show up, so... Oh, Sneakers has been here for a while, huh? Alright, let's wrap up here. Clear. I kind of want to just finish the week now. See how well it works. Like how much time I'm going to save every day. Because it won't take that long to finish the week now. There's... What does this sound mean again? There's a muck nearby? Oh no, I pressed the button! I'm a fool. It's actually not that bad to fix, but it is definitely annoying. Where's my staircase is at? Alright. Uh, everything else is good, actually, somehow. Oh, horse flute goes here. There we go. I can get rid of you, you, and you. I forgot to go over here. And let's go see Sandy for some coconuts. Ooh, lots of coconuts outside Sandy's place today, too. Hey, we got one doubling, too. I hate to say it, but buying coconuts from Sandy is probably not worth it at this point. All right, we sleep. Not when we have those statues to give us a thousand every year. But I want the iridium quality coconuts, so it's worth it to go to the desert just to see if those are there. But I do that on Thursdays regardless. We definitely want to go for that. Let's get myself some wood. I think I'll just take one of these. I think I'll just take one of these. Alright, that should be good for now. Please grab. Close. Alright, uh, we need wild bait for that. Just one, I believe. Wild bait, there we are. 
Die! <laughs> okay, we need one sea urchin, apparently. I forgot that those could be different. It feels good, though. That's what's important. It's weekly as well. So it's 10 coconuts a week, which is slightly different than... Okay, are these all done now? I think I filled everything in. Yeah, I did. Looks pretty decent, actually. All right, we'll grab all this. I can get rid of that. All right, and we can do a little bit more cleanup today. All of this doesn't need to stay here anymore. All of this can go away because I'll just put it away in the right spot when I get it. So let's clean up here. Ooh, cinder shards need to move a little bit down, huh? Good. Let's put the trash away. Oh, this should definitely go in here, hold on. 770 dragon's teeth. That went up by so much. We had like 300. We effectively doubled our dragon teeth. That's good to know that that actually goes kind of quick. Oh, go down here. Get that all in there. Uh, from here, that's kind of funny that this fits in between these, but you know what? We, we won't question it. Also, this is in the middle of the... Okay. You know what? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Uh, seaweed goes down here. Uh, that just leaves beach warp totems, which should go in here. Batteries, which um, I guess technically go in here as well. We have another stack in there. Uh, and these go up here. If they can fit, they can. That's probably going to replace my blue discus row. So that can last a little longer. Let me go ahead and bake some bread today. Exactly enough, pretty much. Bread. It's not just bread, it's fresh bread. Uh, and I think that's the day. Let's throw these in here and get some rest. I think I'm gonna go to the end of the week just to test this out. Basically, there's not much more for me to do though every day. It should go pretty quick. Now that this is all set up and ready to go. <laughs> Got 500. Nice. You know what I love? Seeing that row have row on it, that is a good deal right there. Fresh bread. All right, let's grab them all. Ooh, I thought I did this one already. Any more that aren't done yet, I'm gonna try and make it look nice and clean. I think we got all of them though. Going diagonal, unfortunately, isn't very fast. But when I get to the end here, I can just teleport back, which is nice. Alright, 33. It's, it's not like lightning speed or anything, but it's faster than it was. It's not that it saves me time in collecting a row. It saves me time in doing everything else, because I don't have to collect from every pond. So basically, I go down like one or two rows a day, and then I can go to sleep, like immediately. 
obviously I'm doing this right now, but that's not, this is not going to be every day. I would have already been asleep in halfway through the next day by now. So tomorrow, or rather Saturday, is going to be a bit of a longer stream because I'm going to need to get to the end of the year. But I'm pretty sure I can do it. Another sleep. Why not the Stingray Row? I'm all done with it now, some random teen. I have enough of it, so it's not worth it to me to get. I forgot to grab this. I guess it might be worth it to go here first, because these aren't ready yet. They just finished as I was saying that. When are you streaming tomorrow? It won't be tomorrow, sorry. <laughs> On uh, Saturday, so in two days. It'll be at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, which is approximately 14 hours from now, plus a day. <laughs> That doesn't, that's not easy to bath out, I suppose, but. I do want to grab the magma caps. I think those are worth it. Oops. Let's see if there's any down here. There is row, and it'll come down to this line here. teleporting now. I mean, there always was, I suppose. <laughs> Don't need that. Grabbed it on accident. We already have our magic rock candy, so we're ready for sleep. 7.30 a.m. Yeah, that's definitely faster by a lot. saying cute things in the morning. Alright. We grab this first. I should actually grab these up here first. Dragon teeth! Oh, cinder shards! Literally in front of my face and not even grabbing them. Alright, we have cinder shards here. Okay. It's three to five cinder shards, I think. But we low rolled and it stays consistent for the whole row because they have the same RNG pattern. So that's not as many as we could have gotten. Alright, and then we check this corner here, and if we don't see anything, we just teleport back. Very good. Oh, what a day! Nothing over here. Welcome back, by the way, Amy. We're going to be finishing out this week and then probably calling it a stream. Ooh. Who's maintaining Leah's flowers, huh? There's a ghost in there. Oh, I should have definitely um, <laughs> used my horse, by the way, there. I just walked that entire way instead of using the horse. Fiddleheads! I am in a forging mood today. Give me all of your fiddleheads. Because I will have them all. Uh, that is a shortcut running colors that you unlock from Robin after you get uh, Pam's house upgraded. It's the last thing you can unlock from Rob Robin. There's a few shortcuts like it. 
fiddlehead hoarder. I need them, okay? You wouldn't get it, okay? It's just, you, it's not a phase, Amy. I think there's called community sh shortcuts or community upgrades, something like that. It's not very expensive and yeah, it basically unlocks a few shortcuts on the map. I keep streaming for six more hours. <laughs> I'm joking, but <laughs> my plans aren't happening anymore, so I'm not in a rush at least. All right, let's grab these. Oh, I like it when we hit this row. I think this is the longest one. this grab this come on don't do those in bed before 7 a.m oh my gosh that's insane that's so much faster tari welcome in and that was with two rows presenting. The two longest, pretty much, too. <laughs> Grab this one over here. How's it been going? Good, good. How are you? Welcome in, Tari. optimal path here, did I? While I'm here, might as well collect these, huh? Nope, nothing there. Clean up. Not quite 7 a.m. this time, unfortunately. I actually don't need to collect from the lightning rods anymore. I realize I don't have any crops now. I don't know if it can ruin my uh, scarecrow, though. I don't think it can. Oh, wait, we have to go to, uh... Yeah, fish ponds are working out really well right now. It's so much faster in the mornings. I admire the push. I'm excited. This worked out really well. I would thought this was going to be a huge hassle, and we got it done in, like, half of a stream. And now it's, like, running so smoothly. bed before eight with the traveling cart that's really good and I think unfortunately that is where I'm going to call the stream let me snooze this ad for I throw you guys an ad in a minute good day though we got some stuff there ah uh, but thanks everyone so much for hanging out today I'm gonna send you guys somewhere lovely but let's start by heading back to the menu and heading to my ending stream screen. Let me go ahead and see who's live right now. I caught the end. Yes, you did, Tari. Sorry I didn't start or <laughs> stay going. I saw you come in and I was just like, I can't. I gotta leave. Tari's here. <laughs> Obviously joking. Ugh. I was on my way out already. Okay, we're gonna raid Cord. I don't get to raid Cord a whole lot. Because Cord is typically, um, starts pretty late, and I'm not usually streaming this late on weekdays. If y'all don't know Cord, Cord is a min-maxer, challenge runner, speed runner, part of the Dew crew, and a uh, really cool dude. He um, is a big inspiration for me, honestly. Kim Blade, Piano, and Habu are kind of the reason I started streaming in the first place. So you should go ahead and enjoy. He's currently doing a 25 million gold in the first month of Stardew Valley, which is absolutely insane by the way the first month is like the hardest one to earn money in by a long shot uh but let me go ahead and get this raid together for you 
I pressed the raid channel button and nothing happened. Okay, there we go. <laughs> let's get that raid started. All right, and let's go ahead and say our goodbyes. Thank you so much for hanging out, Amy. Good night, Tari. Good night, Burnt Soup. Good night, Icy Diamonds. Good night, some random teen. Good night, Running Colors. Good day to you, Iguana. Good night, TJ. Good night, Rain. Good night, Handles. Thanks everyone so much for hanging out today. I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day and or night. Good night, Frashter, and I will catch you all in the future. Bye for now, everyone. Good night, Rob. Bye, Amy. Night, Breezy.